All right, everyone. Welcome in. WNBL Wannabe League. The Siege here. We're going to be seeing the lower bracket finals. So this is a face-off between Faded and Aviat. We're going to be seeing who will go on to the grand final to face Leviathans for that grand championship. This is a big rivalry between them, as this is the third time they've played each other since the last... It was The first time they played was the last week of the season. They played each other twice... Well, this is the second time they're playing each other in the playoffs, so this is a big one. Right, last time, I don't... Was it a 2-0 or a 2-1 in A-Beat's favor? I think it was a 2-1. I think both times it was a 2-1. Okay, so Fade is taking a map off of them each time they face. We'll see if they can turn that into a 2-map for the win so they can move on, or will it be the same old, same old with AV8 dominating again? Or maybe not dominating, but winning with the two maps. Winning. So, for the first map, um, Faded actually picked Toastline, which is interesting. I have never seen them play that map, so I don't know what that's going to be like. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I wasn't quite sure. We've seen some pretty good play out of both teams, but each of them have their, what would you say, Aviate's more balanced with their teams. I think Faded, I've seen, have their their fraggers, right? Like the people who oh, really yeah. are, they rely on. They have to be reliable and get those kills, otherwise they have a bad day. So I think this favors ABA in a way where they have the advantage. Also, it wasn't their map pick, so they get to start an attack, and I still think this is an attacker-sided map. So it no, could, it definitely is an attacker-sided <laughs> map. It could definitely swing in Aviate's favor. So Faded, they chose it, so I'm thinking they must have a game plan that they're very confident in. Hopefully they do. On the other side of things, Aviate chose Club, which is, you know, typically defender side. We'll see what the bands end up being for the ops, is that will really decide how old defender decider it is or not uh, and then our decider is Oregon which is I guess one of the more sort of balanced maps in the game somewhat uh, I think overall you're still going to see that 4-2 split with uh, yeah with the defenders having the advantage but you know with that switch again of the Wamai well, only having four instead of five discs, I think, and then no shield, and ADS is on burning one every ten. You know what I mean? Like, it's not... It's definitely more balanced now. It's not so dominant yeah, on a defender side. It wouldn't be surprising to see a 3-3. Now, we don't know what side people are going to start on because it all depends on the round differential from the first two maps if we get to that third map. Right. So that could really so be a, have to an wait advantage. But I think this first map will certainly be a fun one to watch. I, I don't know how it's going to go. Again, we haven't necessarily seen these. Well, we've seen Aviate, I think, on, on close. I just don't know if we've seen Faded there. All right, we're getting everyone loaded in the lobby here. So not too much longer until this match starts. Just another minute or two. Um, you want to talk about the bans at all? What they took out? Maybe some reasoning um, why? Well... Uh, faded first. They took first ban uh, was Villa, and AV banned first Consulate, which Consulate I see being banned by AV8 all the time. Um, and uh, Villa, I mean, I don't really know. Some people like playing Villa, some don't. So it all depends. Um, then their second ban is AV8 banned the theme park. We all know why. And, or actually, for those who don't know, in the winner's bracket finals against Leviathans, they got 7 0 on it. So I think it makes sense that they would ban it. And uh, Faded banned Cafe, which I think they banned because Aviate absolutely destroyed them on it. Last yeah. Time. Mm -hmm. so, I remember that. Yeah, that, that was a pretty handed, handed victory for them. And I think they might have even gone there two times against them now. If I remember right. I'm yeah, remember. I, I believe they have. So, uh, and that that makes sense then. We'd ban it away since you haven't had that success two times. And... Third time's the charm, maybe, but I guess they don't want to test that. <laughs> Probably not. I wouldn't. Well, just waiting for a few more players to get in as everyone's loading in. Uh, I, I, th I guess the next thing to talk about then would be which team do you think will come out with the win here? I mean... You know, if we were going off of um, previous history, I'd say AV, but I mean, you never know. I, I, I'm just hoping AV don't get 
too confident in themselves after winning twice and then just do something stupid and end up losing the third time. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's really, it's hard to tell, honestly, for me. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm tempted to take the underdog here. I am tempted to take Faded. But that history, you know, and seeing how dominant they have been, AV, I mean, against them on certain maps, it makes me yeah. it makes it very hard to want to take the underdog. I think it's the contrary part of me that really likes that. You know, I like to be contrarian. I like to choose the opposite of what most people would think in a lot of situations. But in this case, I think I will. I will go with AV. I think that it's a two-one. I think they do lose a map, but I think overall they're going to come up with that win. Two-two-one per usual. Hopefully, we'll be getting this started soon. Right, waiting for two more players. So just getting to the starting line here is taking a little bit, but that's all right. Um, now, if it gets to the third map, what do you think will happen there? Well, have we seen them face off on Oregon? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think we have. We, we did. The first time they played, actually, we saw them face on Oregon. And Fade had won that map 8-6, to six, I believe. Ah, uh, oh, I knew it was close. I was trying to remember. I was like, I was at 7-5 or something like that. So maybe it did go over time, though. It's been a little bit. Well, I think we actually have everyone in the lobby, so we're ready to get started here, everyone. I'll just make sure everyone is ready. Oh, they said no. Okay. We're waiting. That's not a problem. Do you think it'll be close on close line? Who who do you see coming out and, and being needed on each side? Oh, he's AFK. My bad. <laughs> oh, who's AFK? <laughs> you were. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was. <laughs> well, that's all right. I was just saying, who do, you, who do you think are the big players that need to come out and play on this first map? Because it is a uh, heavy, heavy frag map. Ooh, okay. So, from AV8, I think players that really need to step up their game that haven't already is um, Balloween and Tempdig. They haven't been playing at their best. And I think the players on Faded that really need to like pop out is... Uh, I don't know, actually. I'm going to say Burberry, I, I, I think. I'd say Burberry and uh, maybe KWD. I don't know. I, I Honestly, a lot of the names really look different to me for some reason. <laughs> well, uh, looks like we're getting started here, so I'm going to throw us in. Let's get the show on the road. And we'll see the map ban start off here. Faded banning first. I thought AV was on attack. AV is on attack. Yeah, so they, they are on attack. I'm okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. So I was confused. I guess Fatality forgot what the, his side of things chose. So I was pretty sure I looked at those map bands correctly. Yeah. So, all right, Whew. all right. Shield being banned, not surprising. We've seen Temp had a lot of success, and that's Faded's ban. So it makes perfect sense to see that taken out. A lot, a lot, a lot of sense. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Clash ban either uh, once it gets to their last ban here. But on attack, I, I really don't know what to expect from AV. They're on, pans. they're on attack themselves. They're going to take out that Hibana. So we've seen her be kind of useful on that back wall of uh, billiards towards the square, center square. So I think that's... I don't see her getting banned often, though. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of the mentality of going in. So that's just what I'm thinking. Gives you that uh, projectile hard breach. I guess you could try and throw an ace on that wall, but it's a little harder. True. It's very true. And Valkyrie. I'm not surprised by that at all. Her cams being thrown outside can be annoying, but even just being thrown out on like balcony areas where they might not expect it and then you can run out on them. Just having those uh, cheeky angles where you can run out. That's really what the concern would be is runouts. Now, I know they lowered the time on runouts, but I've still seen people get away with it. So, yeah. it's still something to watch out, especially I... on this map. Guess we'll see. Mira, of course. It's actually surprising to me. I actually thought that they would go with the clash ban because you know temp but i guess one shield ban is enough for them they're going to take away those mirror shields uh which you'll see sometimes used down in kitchen and maybe even in hookah but not as much on that side i don't think but uh certainly in kitchen and in blue bar um sunrise i've seen it oh uh, yeah oh 
round one of the losers bracket finals. This is last match of the losers bracket. All right, whoever loses here is out. This is it. The end of the line. And then we'll have the grand finals. Whoever wins will go to grand finals, but they will have one map disadvantage because they're this is the lower bracket, so they'll have to overcome even more. But first step, got to win here. Jackal coming out, not surprising. This is a small map. His power is very powerful. His gadget was searching for the footsteps there. Defenders, protect your bombs from On the other side of things, uh, no, no pick that I'm going to see being huge, except for possibly the Malusi. Uh, a lot of choke angles you can use her gadget on, slow people down, give you the sound cue, and then you capitalize on it. Gonna see the Mozzie being brought. That's gonna help with the denial of the drones. Gonna give him a few more cams on top of the evil eyes from the Maestro. So, a lot of information coming out. The sound cues from Melusia I mentioned, so that's even more information. So, Barbar and uh, the Jaeger. So, I just see a lot of information coming out for them. They're gonna be trying to use that, slow them down, and then also get the kills off of that information. On the attacker side of things, gonna see the Ace being brought. It brings smokes and that AK. You're gonna see blue on the Zofia. Rich Tyler on that Ash as always. He's been rocking that every time I've seen him play. And Temp on the Nomad. No shield up here. I mean, the the mountain again. I mean, do, well, the, we've seen him do really splits see him though. Hits. Sometimes. I mean, once or twice. <laughs> nomad makes a lot more sense on a map like this. I'm trying to do an aqua push here, it looks like. They're gonna be droning in. That's Admiral getting a kill. On to Mystic, start things off. Opening kill going in the attacker's favor. Yeah, Lucy slowing them down, giving information, and they get killed all the way back over in luggage. That's Burberry with the kill. With the nice flank, and then he gets the hell out of there. Doesn't want to get refragged. Pulling the sneaky. See him looking towards the base up here, Baloo. Can he get a kill from this angle. He might! And that's a down and a kill on the reflex, so two kills on the attacker side. They have the advantage once again. That's a big pick. No more evil eyes coming out and zapping you. They'll only be able to only be able to feed what information they see as they are stationary as well, as you mentioned. This thing's slowing down here. That's Burberry getting a kill in the blue, so that's the Zofia taken out by that Jaeger. So, Burberry showing up so far. Got the only two kills for his team. They're gonna try and get the plant, but they bait out. Ooh, that's KWD getting the kill on the rich. That's your Ash done. No plant coming out either. Now you're in a disadvantage in the 2v3. Fate gonna push up. He's gonna get downed. It's all on temp. And he's gonna have to find two kills here, so there is a down. Oh, and there it is. KJAX getting the shot onto him. And faded. Gonna walk away with the first uh, round in their favor. Ah, uh, there it is. I saw someone mention that in chat. It's someone is using a banned skin. Well, that would be a rehost. <laughs> so it would be. Uh, um. Bro, Proof, moment. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna. Is, yeah. Yep. Yep. That's a re host. We got to play that round over again. So, very unfortunate that that happens in the first round. We're gonna have to wait for everyone to leave here. So, I'll cut to a quick break here as we get this lobby remade. Very unfortunate that, that happens on the first round, but unless we caught it early.
All right, we're back. We got everything set up, hopefully correctly. We're gonna be getting band stay the same, of course. So, Montaigne, Hibana, uh, Valk, and Amira, Amira all still banned. They're gonna choose the same ops, I believe, is the the ruling on that. That's what I decided, at least, just to make it all <laughs> fair. Same site and everything. So, they're gonna have to, uh, you know. Restart, see if their strat works better this time on Aviate side and see if Fate can uh, repeat what they just did because they, they shot themselves in the foot. They are the ones who had the illegal skin on the defensive yeah. side, so they just took a round Lucky one for, for themselves. So Lucky they're, for Aviate. They're going to have to just, you know, regroup, not let it Attackers need to destroy their mentality the as that can be a, certainly a big blow in, a, in, a, in some ways. Luckily, it's the beginning, you know, it's only one round. It doesn't stop any momentum really. Um, so, I, I think if it had to happen, the first round is probably the best time. These are all the same ops, you said? Yep, I believe so. So we see the Malusi, the Maestro, the Smoke, the uh, Jaeger, and the uh, Mazi, excuse me, and then we see Jackal, Sophia, Ace, Nomad, and Ash. So, and everyone's still on the same ops as well. Uh, I think on the defensive side of things, they're going to be a lot more wary of that wall being opened up, not playing, you know, in bad positioning from the roof because they did get shot from there. Probably going to be watching luggage more on the attacker side of things as that flank from Burberry got them. So, yeah, both teams gonna, losing out <laughs> on some surprises. They're going to have to rework their strats for this push because, uh, both teams know how each one did their own thing. Reloading. So we're definitely going to want to change something here. Right. We're going to see two roamers. There's a drone right next to Mystic, so he's probably being found out there. Unless that was a Mozzie drone. I don't think it was, though. Now on the back side, Burberry's going to be shooting that ace, opening up on the back wall. But they do manage to get a little bit of a hole. Going to see if he can spot someone up there on roof. But no luck being found so far. You might get someone. Nice shot on the Admiral. Oh. Burberry opening things up yet again. I think he got the opening kill last time. No, way. actually, no. No, no, Aviate did. Admiral, Admiral got the opening kill last time, <laughs> right. so it's payback. Right. Burberry did get the opening kill for his team, at least, so. He'll continue where he left off last time. Actually, was also on to Admiral. <laughs> so, kind of funny how that's playing out. See if you can find someone, gets uh, some damage done. Both of them taking almost the same amount of damage, actually. They're both down to about a third of their HP. PWD engaging with someone over there and uh, Aqua Belt. That's a down. Burberry again down and a kill coming out from Rich onto Mystic as well. So some work being done by the Ash. Baloo gonna finish off I believe the down player Burberry. Mm-hmm. 4v3 now sorry. So the attackers having the advantage early on in this round. There's about a minute left. Still plenty of time for them to get this plant down. You know what to flank them this time. See if they try and bait out the C4s. That's going to be the evil eye taking care of at least, and a smoke grenade being baited out. About less than a minute left. KWD is going to be having to play this uh, plant denial. Isn't going to find anyone though, and he's going to walk out and get demolished by your Tyler on that end. A 3v1. All on the shoulders of Reflex, but he can't do it. Temp takes him out, and Aviate are going to take the first round instead. So that rehost costing them a round, and then also giving Aviate the round. So. That is a rough one. You hate to see it when there's a rehost happening because of a skin. This always happens. Someone has an illegal skin and it just goes in the way of the other team. Right, almost every time. Not always, but almost. I don't know. I mean,. In my experience, I have not seen it once where the team that had the illegal skin had to go their way. That's true. I guess specifically... It's the whole team morale thing. <laughs> yeah, specifically for that team. I know rehost is different than the reason. Yes. So we've seen Leviathans won even after they rehost, but they rehost because of a bug, not a skin. So different situation. Exactly. It's like when you re realize that you cost your team around because of your skin, it's just like... Demoralizing. Yes. 
I said like most rehosts you don't like lose a round, but like rehost because that is just it's not what you want to see. As this time, Faded uh, decided to go to kitchen, kitchen service, so maybe well, they'll have other luck here. I'm thinking, yeah, they, they didn't like how that turned out. They they know that they kind of figured out on the defense. They got two rounds on them, the second one obviously counting and uh, going in the other team's favor. So they're going to be trying to regroup here. Change of mentality, probably, as we were talking about, that mentality being hurt. So hopefully this can help bring it back for them. We're going to see some operator changes as well. We're going to see Kjax being not on the smoke any longer. He's going to be bringing that Legion. And Burberry switching off the Jaeger on to the Vigil. So two new ops being brought. Reflex going to be on that Jaeger instead. On the attacker side, we see Temp no longer on the Nomad, but Gridlock instead. Similar duties, though. And we're going to be seeing Baloo switch off Sophia going on to that sledge. So, my guess for that switch off, they knew that they were going downstairs. So they wanted that sledge. Play. Right. Exactly. And uh, the Gridlock as well with the shotgun. Secondary shotgun. That also helps. So, it's a, it's a double. So, got a lot of roaming presence up here. Of the Jaeger and the Vigil both playing up here in the 90 hallway. And Kjax kind of lurking over here in the lobby, not too far away from site though. Drone gonna find him out. Probably saw both of them there, and if it didn't, I'd be very surprised. And cannot get the shots onto it, so that's unfortunate. That's a lot of information being fed. Berber doesn't see the drone underneath, they know where he is. Sledge engaging, or excuse me, <laughs> Reflex engaging with someone over there in VIP. But no kills being found for either side yet. Burberry got tagged up a bunch as well. Damage being dealt, but no kills being found. But all the damage is being done to the defenders. No attackers have taken any damage yet. But a half the round has been killed, so they're doing a pretty good job. And Rich is going to get the kill onto Reflex there. That's the Jaeger taken out. Nice kill from him. Well, you are killed over half the round, so only losing one member doesn't seem so bad. Right, they also lost, I think, full top floor control, though, so definitely not too helpful there. No, but only a minute left, and they're going to have to start figuring out where they want to execute. And Burberry might be going to get a kill. He does onto Fatality. And a second one onto Admiral. And he is certainly doing some damage here, bringing it into a man count favor for his team. But Temp going to take off Mystic, and now it's an even man count. But only 45 seconds, and the Diffuser was down. Up above. That is not good for AB8 at all. The Diffuser left up there. Right, and no one's even near it. They have 30 seconds to find it and bring it downstairs for that plant. Or they're going to have to find these kills. That's a big issue for them. Burberry keeps getting the flanks on them, even with uh, the gridlock. They both know and that this diffuser is down too, I think. So they're just going to be playing up here waiting. Burberry is down and finished off by Rich, though. So 15 seconds. They're going to have to find these last two kills very, very quickly. And Kjax going to get the... No, doesn't get the kill. Rich getting the kill onto them. So now it's a 3v1, and they get the kill. They managed to find it in time. Didn't look like they're going to get the plant down, but they do get the kills. And Aviate take the second round, two in a row. What a round. They really kept it close, everybody holding their breath there. Right, I have to question a little bit that Maestro's decision to push like that. You knew that the diffuser's upstairs and there's only 10 seconds. You probably could have rotated up to the hallway and watched for the drop and tried to deny him that way, but it is what it is. Indeed. What happens, happens, you know. Aviate up 2-0 now. And that Rehos perhaps going to be... A big in their favor. <laughs> yeah, a big deciding factor is they seem to have lost all momentum they might have had from that first round. So Faded going back to Hookah Billiards, switching up the Mozzie to the Cade. But besides for that, everything is the same from their last Hookah hold. But uh AV is still going with their kitchen um lineup ops. Yeah. Exactly. So I don't know if they know that they're not going kitchen again. I don't think they do. Right, they're probably just trying to play that guessing game, and if they did think they were going down below, would they just lost that guess? But 
the round still remains to be played. We see Baloo is going to have a little bit of trouble loading in here. Hopefully there's no disconnect. Oh, there we go. Finally oh, loaded in. Go. It's always scary exactly. when you see the loading like that. Yeah, definitely not fun. It's just like the anticipation of waiting for it to start. Well, last time, kind of fell apart. Didn't really hold this too well. They got the plant down, and I think it was uh, the Ash coming in and getting a few kills there to open it up. Uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, six and one in the past two rounds, that's a pretty good start. <laughs> right. Well, they got three kills in each round, if I remember sorry, correctly. Six and, oh, I'm sorry. And yeah. ten, three and oh as well. That is some good numbers. The cave pick here is actually interesting. I understand why, as uh, Aviate has gone for the billiards wall of that first time, and for the rehost as well. So bringing the cave makes sense. Right, they've been opening that back wall, so they're gonna have to really watch that more carefully. But you know, so far from what I saw, they really got destroyed in Aqua more than anything. Just that push was able to get in. Temp getting killed the Mystic. That's not good. I don't know where they were playing to get that. Oh, near top of white. So it must have been on the window there. Most likely, yeah. We don't see anyone near it except for on the roof. Temp getting another kill off screen. Just getting kills from in weird angles, I would have to guess. Yeah, on the roof probably for both of those kills. On the window and then on the roof. Doing some work. Very aggressive. It's definitely but working. Continues to pad that stat line. But they're in a... Even have to push in to get picks. All right, 5v3 and there's still two minutes to play with. And now Baloo getting a kill. This is all just falling apart for Faded. They're going to have to find a way to regroup these last two men here. KWD taking some damage from the drone hole. And the drone's coming out and finding the Maestro. So they know where both these uh, defenders are. They're going to have to find some way holding out for a whole minute and a half and it doesn't seem very likely missing the shots on the ace we're gonna see a rotate coming out so KWD is gonna have to get there very quickly get some kills hopefully for his team and he gets taken out and it's a flawless nope never mind no. reflex did manage to get a kill in the Admiral almost a flawless round <laughs> Basically a flawless round. Felt flawless, that's for sure. Right, just so much time left to play with when you're in a huge man advantage. Just those early two picks coming out, and both on the back of Temp getting both of those kills really set up the round for success for Aviate, and they continue the 3-0 advantage. Three in a row, full momentum going forward. What can Faded do here to, to bring it back? <sighs> this is their map pick, too. I, I want to add that in. So, they won that first round on defense, but that that rehost and losing that round, it just it did not help them at all. Switching off the Jaeger to the Wamai instead, which is interesting, but I feel like it's going to be common now that uh, Jaeger only destroys one, Attack I guess. One aerial projectile, whatever you want to call it, like every 10 seconds. Utility. Yeah, and that's not really that good. And Wamai, well... It depends on how, more. how much time he's alive for, but he can get up to four discs, I believe, and, you know, a couple of those on a wall or a doorway. It's only four? Yeah, they lowered it. Oh, wow. Used okay. to be five. I think it's four now. So not, not too many, but still. That's three at one time, unless they stay alive for ten seconds, which they usually don't for the ADSs, so three versus four. I think Wamai will be a little bit more popular of a pick as things go on, but we'll find out. Not much of a loadout difference. We saw the same loadout, I think, except for, as he's mentioned, the Wamai being switched to from the Jaeger. But nothing else really coming out that's surprising. AB8 going to keep their same lineup that they've had now for, uh, well, this will be the third round in a row. I mean, it's working, so why switch, right? Alright, why, why fix what isn't broken? Exactly. Oh, well, we see they're pushing into Pent from the uh, hatch, it looks like. Well, at least they have it open. They haven't pushed in quite yet. But Not yet. 
plenty of bodies look like they're ready to do so. There's gonna be a grenade coming out. We'll see if we can find anyone. But no, it blows up before it even gets low enough to hit anyone. Just a mistimed uh, need there, but just one piece, one piece of utility wasted. But we'll see if it really matters or not. It's all gonna depend on this. Depend on this uh, verticality. So they haven't even started yet, and a whole round or a whole minute of the round has been killed. Waiting for something to happen. Just a lot of drone work and some angles being held, but nothing really being found on the attacker side. They're gonna have to start opening up things, bringing the breaching charges. Then Ash, now that she no longer has the flashes, makes sense. So get some she verticality she going. Has so much soft reach. Ooh, we missed the feet. Is he gonna know someone's right next to him right now? That's the question. Burberry, though, gonna get temp. That's the well, my being taken out by Rich. And he's gonna be looking towards white, but Blue gets the kill instead, so someone's gonna find it. And that's Burberry taken out and Reflex. So both your more fragger ops, I would say, being taken out. Your roamers. And now we have only one person left that has a kill for Faded, so. Not looking and... too good. <laughs> Positioning is though pretty all. interesting. One's playing near lobby in that security room. One's in sight here, on KWD, and the other one is over in Sunrise. So the positions are actually pretty, pretty good. I would say they can still bring this back if they don't roam clear or lurk clear in this case on AVA's side. Yeah, there's still uh, 45 seconds left. So Mystic AVA getting a kill on the Admiral though, and that's going to bring and it back to even make out. So once again, diffuser being downed. He's gonna get caught on the right side, possibly? No, yes, he does. It looked like he actually had a nice flick there, but it didn't come into fruition for a kill there. And we're left with a 1v2. Kjax, it's all on your shoulders. Can you win a round for your team? You just saw someone run by, gave away your position, shooting a little too late. They have to go back and get that diffuser, though, so his time is still on his side. He's gonna have to rotate through, catch someone off to the left. He does do some damage, but it's not enough to stop anything. He's confused. He doesn't know. He doesn't to do know what to do. Called. Fatality catches him on the rotate, and that's a fourth round in a row on Aviate's side. This is all falling in their favor, and faded are reeling after that rehost. Aviate's just flying high right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was painful. That's all I can say. I'm sorry. I thought their their uh, their phrase was soaring or something. Soaring high, isn't it? Soar above, I think. Soar above. Ah, well, they certainly are soaring above in the round count right now. 4-0. Wow, way to steal my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got one in. You know, I felt like I had. Yeah. You, know. you felt you just had to put a better one in. It, it's okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure we give them their call sign. You know, got to use it. That's true. That's very true. Defenders, protect your bombs from being well, they've switched between kitchen and hookah, and no success in either of them being found, and they're gonna go back up to hookah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I think as Einstein has said, repeating the same thing over and over is, is the definition of uh, insanity, right? If it's mm. not working and you repeat it over and over, so, something like that. I just kind of butchered it, but you get, you get the point. And, um, are they insane for doing this? I guess this round's really gonna tell us if they are. Well, if this the isn't team used successful. to be sanity. The team used to be sanity, so maybe they're now insanity. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was fated to be. You could say. Oh my god. The puns. We're just too talented. Anyway, round starting. No difference in op choices from either side, I don't think. Um, well, I mean, on this, on this bomb side, I mean. When they go out kitchen, they have the vigil and stuff, but this is the same lineup they've been bringing, it seems, on the uh, hookah defense. And on attack, well, I think they've done three rounds. This will be the fourth round in a row of that same lineup, so not a lot of changes being made. Again, why fix something that's not broken on Navy's side? But you would think that there might be some more change-ups on Faded, but no, they, they're going to continue on. Yeah, you definitely would expect some sort of change, but I mean, I guess they're still confident in their strat. Actually, they bring the bandit. This oh, yeah, 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 sorry. They had the Cade instead. My bad. Yeah. Bandit with the three speed. Yeah, and KWD's been playing that kind of like 
flex role. He was Mozzie, and then he, I think he did switch to that Cade, and then he's now Bandit. So he's been the one who's been switching things up, but he hasn't even found a kill. So hopefully he can change that with the Bandit here. Burberry down below, he's been the, the roamer, and he's been all right, but with the rest of his team not being as successful, he's going to have to maybe pick him up on his back a little bit more. That's Temp being taken out by Reflex, though, so Maestro getting the opening kill. Not what you'd normally see. Finally utilizing those 81 bullets. <laughs> right. A lot of angles being held here by Faded, as they know that they like to do this aqua push, and they haven't switched that up at all. Burberry, though, is going to be patiently waiting at bottom white, seeing if he can find a chance to pounce. Let's see if these attackers have their back turned to him. But he's going to play patiently, just holding out, waiting and waiting. Reflex is going to be patient as well, waiting for them to push in. They know that the attackers have to be the ones to aggress. That's Burberry getting a kill on Fatality, so that was the uh, patience I was talking about, and, well, it pays off. He gets a kill. It's 5v3. Faded looking like they might actually have a round locked in. So there's only 45 seconds left for Aviate to get something done. And Reflex getting a nice shot on the Admiral. Things falling even more in their favor. Mystic gonna continue the rampage of Faded on this round, picking off Rich. Well, he's all the way on the other side of the map. Last one over there in the VIP, and well, they're by themselves there. One v five, and I think he's just gonna play patient. They're probably talking about the next round right now because I really doubt anything's gonna happen here. He's gonna need a miracle, and he's not gonna find it. They find him. Flawless round coming out. Faded, making a statement. Can't run away, run away with this game. Not yet, at least. Hey, I mean, at least Faded got one round. Keep themselves in it. Well, I mean, this was a dominant round. Flawless. That's for sure, that as well. Yeah. And they are going to switch it up. It and kept it flawless. Or was it flawless? That was a yeah, flawless round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. See, they're stepping their game back up. And they're going to hope to find success here now, switching over to Blue Bar Sunrise. That kitchen defense, they've tried it a couple times. They even got the defuse down, but then they've now decided, no, each time we still lost those. So we're going to switch it up. Admiral going to switch it up as well, going to the Lion and no longer on the Ace. Temp They're bringing out the Mute for the first time. Yeah, very different lineups, I would say, overall. Now, we also can note that Temp switched off of the Gridlock, going back to the Nomad, which you saw him play the first round. So, still on that Roam Denial, Flank Denial op choice. I think the most interesting thing here, though, is the Lion. Instead of bringing, you like, a... The ace for the hard reach, which I mean, you don't necessarily need, but the line is going to be interesting with uh, all the roaming they've been doing. Well, I will say it's a little bit harder to get a plant down unless they're going to do a sunrise push, but even then, without a hard breach, it's going to be a lot harder. Normally, you'd open up that wall from office into blue bar and try and plant behind the bar, but they're not going to be able to do that without a hard breach here. So, definitely an interesting one, but no. So, I'm saying Faded already have an advantage in this round just because of that. Just the strats, you know? I don't think AV8 was expecting them to go to this site, that's for sure. Burberry gonna be playing in that office. Interesting choice. He's been the one on that Jaeger a lot, and now we see KWD on it instead. Burberry gonna be on that lead. Which is nice, you know, the Legion can certainly help Stop plant with his thing, his little stingers being stuck in people's feet, but and slows them down and does damage. So I mean, it does a lot of things, a lot of little things. Multi-dimensional tool and makes lots of noise. So it pretty much does a lot for you. Uh, is this an SMG 11 with a silencer and uh, iron sights? What is going on? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna. I'm gonna Someone move on from that. Around. <laughs> yep, that's what I think that is. I will say KWD has a nice black ice skin on the Jaeger carbine here. And the plat charm too. Matches the colors, sort of. Gotta get that color coordination down. You're gonna get vertical play though. There's no one is playing upstairs to deny this, so they're gonna have to be very careful with their positioning. Lion being the one outside of that blue window. Making them very wary. We see a lot of verticality coming out on the side of the attack. 
Nobody roaming around upstairs. Definitely not too good. This is going to be very important as he does catch the feet but not the kill. And Mystic finds a kill in the blue in the meantime. Kjax gets a nice shot onto Rich. Just going to continue it and try and get the line but can't find him. And he's taken out from above and finished off. That's the first kill coming out for Avius Favor. Almost getting a second. Can he? Yes. Fatality. Getting Burberry. And now it's a 3v3. Making it even. Losing two on each side. With only a minute left, it's going to be a very interesting round. So you're going to try and continue. Reflex, though, over here, trying to stop this verticality. But they're going to get a plant down, possibly, on the attacker side of things. Admiral in the corner here where they have that shield. He's going to start getting smoked, but it's too late. The plant's already down. They are down to 1 HP. But post plant situation is going to make this much to do for Faded. Almost getting caught out with throwing that smoke. Definitely got lucky there. That's Reflex getting downed. KW running out, but not able to do much up there. Mystic's gonna have to see what they can do. SMG 11 iron sights, the silencer isn't the greatest weapon, but perhaps they can find a kill for themselves. And that's a flash, that's gonna stop them here. Then there's no time. There's only 10 seconds. Someone's gonna have to start defusing. It isn't happening. This is the round in Aviate's favor. We'll see what kills come out to pad the stats, but it's all for naught. It's this round's already done. Admiral finishing KWD off, but that was Aviate's round as soon as it got to the 10 second mark, pretty much, on that defuse. The 2v3 clutch from Aviate's two bottom frackers? That's what I, that's what, what I mean by the team being so well balanced. Like, even the bottom fraggers will keep themselves well i guess balance is the right word not really sure what other word to use well they'll find some sort of equilibrium i guess you could say oh uh, yeah that's a lot better <laughs> <laughs> no problem well a 5-1 score line is going to allow aviate to go on the defense with quite a margin in their favor we'll see if they can carry it over into a win here or is faded going to start popping off on their attack Well, seeing things start off in hookah isn't surprising. It is the most popular bomb site. Whether you're in ranked or I think pro league, either way, I think this is the most popular bomb site. But we'll see if uh, they yeah. change anything up on the attack side. We see Buck being brought. We didn't see Avia bring that at all, so that's a difference. And on the defensive side, well, they're gonna tease the Cav, but they do six pick to Mazi, so not much different from I think the loadout we saw on um, Faded side. I think the first round, pretty similar. More or less, yeah. I know they had the smoke, they had the Jaeger, they had the Mazi. I don't remember if they had the Wamai though, but they certainly brought the Wamai. Something crazy coming out. Keeping it simple. Like the Jaeger and the Wamai, don't you? Well, some, uh, some uh, characters to keep your eye on. Blue, known to be the Roamer for his team. I expect him to be doing damage with that Jaeger. And then, uh, well, Fatality's been having a very good game. I think we've seen him play that um, Maestro, actually, before. We see Temp on that roll instead, so that seems pretty interesting. A little bit of a change up. Yeah, that's quite interesting, actually. KWD's making a little bit of fun of themselves as they're talking about donuts and he's at 0 and 5 right now. <laughs> at least you can have some self deprecation humor. I think it's good. Shouldn't take yourself too seriously. If, if Admiral hadn't gotten the last kill, they would also have a donut. <laughs> so. Yeah, we've been set for both of them. Got lucky there. Well, maybe KWD will find a kill for themselves and end that, uh, that joke. Just see a nice plat charm on Rich's uh, gun, so I think one up in KWD on their charm. They have a nice diamond. Yeah, and they have a nice purple skin to go with it. See, it all matches, and that uh, attachment skin being purple. It's all purple. See, now the charm to have is the bolo charm. That's true. That has a nice purple to it as well. Twitch Prime, or uh, something WNBL with Twitch Prime. Oh, you might see someone peeking from below, but no, Temp's not seeing them. Not right away, at least. And some damage was dealt on both sides. No one finding a kill, though. KWD and KJX both taking some damage from that Alda. That's Reflex. Reflex gets taken down by Balloween. I mean, Balloween 
gets taken <laughs> by Reflex. Sorry. And that's the Romer I mentioned before, taking off the board now. That's Reflex going to kill an Admiral. And Faded looking like they're coming out swinging on this first round of tank. A minute and a half, so about half the round kill. Temp going to get a kill, but he's quickly refragged by KWD. And there's his kill. Hey, no more donuts. Oh, he's typing. He's typing, he's typing for typing. sure, isn't he? Yeah, you'd think. Aww. Nothing came out. Fatality getting down. I'm not quite sure where. That looks like that might have been Kjax with that one. That's Rich getting a kill, but he's quickly taken care of by Burberry. And Faded taking their first round of attack. He really rushed that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got a kill. No more donuts on the board for either side of things, so that's good. We're starting to get me hungry. You were hungry to begin with. <laughs> that is very true. I'm really, really in the mood for a donut now. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, there's a, Damn. there's a place that's kind of like... Uh, what's that place called? It's called Quick Trip here. I don't know how far they go. I know that's a Midwestern place. It's a gas station Quick here. Trip? Yeah. yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, they got really good donuts, though, so. I like that custard-filled a... ones, or the jelly-filled. Oh, yeah. Boston yeah. cream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's the classic. dream, man. Boston cream is the dream. Got a nice ram there. Oh, I'm a poet. What can I say? Defenders, protect your bombs from I'm gonna see a kitchen defense come out. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Faded had the same issue. They went hookah, lost, went down here, lost, back and forth, back and forth. I wonder if it's going to happen to Aviate now. They lost hookah. If they lose this, we might see a pattern. But you see there's a difference here. Ah, uh, yes. I, I had mentioned that. I thought they would ban the clash. They didn't. And this is, uh, well, this is what happens. You leave it unbanned, he's going to play it. I bet he's so excited right now. I haven't <laughs> I guess. seen him play a shield in so long. Finally, no one's banning him against me. <laughs> Shield mains are the most hated players in all of Siege. Oh, they have been for like ever. Yeah, for sure. Even more than hackers. Attackers have discovered the location. Ah! Uh, I don't know about that. I'm telling you, Shield mains. Uh, oh. I, I I pick a hacker over a Shield main any day because hackers will get banned. Shield mains won't. Well, what about a Shield main who hacks? Well, that's the worst kind. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those those guys using the macros or using the aim bot with their insta headshots while you know hip firing. Oh, gross! Disgusting. <laughs> Speaking of disgusting, look at this setup. You got the shield app holding the window, and they have Rich playing off of it. Oh, that's just that's just nasty. It's just gonna be a fun round. Just gotta feel. Oh, Admiral being caught upstairs on the roam, I believe, and they're taking care of it real quick. That's Burberry, credited with the kill. And Baloo getting down and finished off. I'm not quite sure who had the kill on them. Luggage. And this should be Reflex's kill. Nope, Burberry got it. Ha, <laughs> he missed the shots. <laughs> I don't know if that was a kill steal or not, but either way, the credit will be taken by someone. And they're in a quick then, 5v3 yet again. KJX getting down though from below and kill almost being found. I thought that was a headshot for sure, but it wasn't. Rich getting a kill. Fatality getting taken out by Burberry though. And the defense is looking dire now with only two men left. It's all on Tyler and the Clash. Not Sounds in the like best positioning either. And Clash engaging with the Jackal here. There is a down. I don't know how they were downed. Didn't seem like anyone had the eyes on them, but in the meantime, Rich was taken out and Mystic finishes off the round on Temp. And that's Faded finding another round for themselves. Two in a row? That's two in a row, yeah. We are seeing the attack on both sides coming out with the advantage. Well, it is an attacker side map, like you said at the beginning. So not too surprising, but will 5-1 be enough? Or will Faded be able to bring this back? So far, it's looking pretty good for them. All Aviate need is a 4-2 four two, four two split. That's true. That's all they need. Right, so they just need to get two rounds here out of the next, uh, well. Four, f five, four, four. Out of the next, well, they, yeah, max it could be is four. Yeah, Yeah. They yep. got two out of the four. Math is hard. 
All right. Temp gonna <laughs> switch off of that clash. I'll bring the cap can. So sometimes cap can can actually be really good because people just don't expect it. So as long as they don't expect it, it can do a lot of damage. And on the other side of things, well, I don't remember what. I think it was KWD was on something, but they switched back to that jackal. So whatever it was, it was just a tease. And they're gonna keep. Even when people expect it, they just don't pay attention. <laughs> right, you're right. You you hear the call out and then you just forget about it. What? I gotta push now. Bam. Hit by Cap Kendra. Uh, did everybody miss that drone? I guess. A little bit of potato <laughs> coming out. Gotta get those carbs in. Ooh, love potatoes. Potato chips. Talking about potatoes, talking about donuts. There's a lot of carbs in this chat. We need to stop talking about food. I'm getting so hungry. Five seconds left well, wait. After this map will be a short break, everyone can go use the restroom, get a little snack for yourself, you know, whatever you gotta do. <laughs> but if Faded has anything to say about it, they're gonna win a couple rounds here and try and bring it at least to overtime, if not outright win it. Now, there's a default cam not being shot, and so they're gonna know someone's going on VIP balcony. That's some useful information coming out for AV. Rich gonna be on the roam, gets a nice headshot on a KWD on the roof there. He does take a lot of damage, but still a nice shot coming out. And even a nice shot from KWD, KWD the man himself getting killed. Temp gonna get a kill on the reflex. This defense is looking a lot more solid than last time. And he's gonna continue to aggress and not get the kill. Does a bit of damage, but that's the Ash of Burberry finding a kill. First one for Faded Side. I really did too. Hit reg always has me questioning what what's the headshot and what's not these days. Exactly. There's no such thing as a headshot. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it is um, also Ash, game. so. True. true. Gotta be aware of Small that hitbox. <laughs> and uh, engagement coming out. Nothing being found. This is between the Jaeger and the Ash. And a kill not being found on either side, but Mystic gonna come and swing around to get the kill on that uh, Jaeger. So Rich taken out. Now it's a three v three. And only half the round killed, so not so great for the defense, but it's a lot better than last time at least. Let's we'll see if they can play with this advantage they have in Burberry terms of time. damaging himself. Just a bit. No breeze Ooh. charged it. Well, a little bit of damage done to Blue as well from one of those uh, explosions, so a little bit of uh, trading back Nothing and forth crazy. with the damage. Well, you got Mystic and Burberry still alive on their side, and they're the two top frags. And the two top frags on the other side are the ones who are dead. So, if I had to guess with the kill count, this is Faded's uh, advantage in that sense. True. If we're counting kills, that's 12 to 22. <laughs> so, quite a difference. Can't under eight, uh, or underestimate Fatality, though. Has the all done. Has six kills, but he does taken out as I dead. say that. So, I just kind of jinxed him. My bad. You blessed for that. him with the bad karma. <laughs> By the way, it's on Baloo, who's been known to be pretty good at fragging, so he'll have to step it up here if he wants to get this round win for his team. The damage being done by Admiral. They're getting shot, I believe, from above, and they get the down, so that's going to be a kill for themselves, at least. So, Doing a little bit better. They get free frag, though, as they do an unadvised uh, push, and Mystic getting the kill on them. A uh, plant is possible here for Mystic. We're going to have to have Burberry watching your back, and we'll see what they're able to do here. And they're able to do it. I was clicking buttons trying to switch to that point of view, but I was unable to do it. Either way, Burberry, with the verticality, able to get the kill and save their planter from certain death. And that's faded with another one. Kept Three in a row. Close. Only, only down by one round. <laughs> Coming yeah. Five, one, and now they're up. Three rounds in a row. Maybe I better do something here. If things are going to go the, the same way for both teams... Overtime. It's going to win this round. <laughs> That's true. I did think it was the second to last round that they uh, that faded one on their defense. So this would be the round yep. that uh, that would be won by AV if it kept the same pattern. But it would also be scary for faded if that happened because it would put them on their back foot of map point. Sludge being brought instead of the buck. It's an interesting uh, pick off there because you can't Sludge from below, and they're up in hookah. So. Wait, this is our third to last round. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Attackers uh, well, I think that might be a rehost for AV, as Fatality has left. I'm going to wait for the call, though. 
They are in drone phase, so they can still hold it. Yep, and that ah, is going to be. Well, with a disconnect, we're going to have to have another rehost, so apologize to that, viewers, but this shouldn't be too long. It wasn't too long last time, so we'll try and get you back here out of the next two minutes. All right. Enjoy the music. Go, you know, grab that snack we were just talking about. We'll be right back. All right, here we are, back in the action. After that short rehost. Oh, Temp must have bullet holed him. Okay, so that was a that was a kill apparently in the in the past here that Reflex didn't particularly like. Yeah, I know. UB actually released something recently, right? Talking about bullet holes, how so they're gonna try and change it so it's more visible. Oh yeah. 
So hopefully that won't be an issue for so much longer because they truly can be, you know. People who use them are going to be upset. People who get hit by them are going to be happy. It's a 50-50. Right. I think more people get upset than than are happy about them. If I, if I had to guess on the number, could be wrong about that. <laughs> we could just say it's 50-50, though. Well, they're going to go to that hookah defense. And uh, they're going to tease the jackal, switching off to something else, and that does go to the ace. No jackal being brought. It's kind of interesting. It's been pretty pretty useful, I'd say. You get to see the footsteps of those roamers, and both teams really heavily roaming. So No, no. no matter gridlock either. Ah, interesting, yeah. So, Faded, going to opt to just go pure frag power with a few different smoke capabilities. Fire arrow. They're going to go for, like, a smoke rush plant. All right, fire arrow them to stop the rotates coming in. They can't push up on you. It makes sense, I guess. I'm going to claim more for some reason. I'm curious as to why KDX is bringing that uh, hard breach utility when you have the ace. I guess well, the other thing's a claymore, so I mean, maybe they find it more useful. I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, two claymores or an extra hard breach device. I mean... Technically speaking, you can just repel off the side and put it on the wall. <laughs> That's true. It could be very risky, uh, but you can. I wouldn't advise that. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, I mean, you do you, Kjax. Oh, we're back to donuts now. Well, at least everyone has it. <laughs> yeah. Make Kjax a little bit better. Reflex and Tempted going at it. Tempted and... taking a lot more damage. Yeah, Tempo almost taken out. They have a sliver of HP. Just a breath of a bullet will take their life. You know, opt to retreat out of there. Hopefully not get caught on the roof, but they're going to get caught. Not him, though, and he lives, but the Malusi gets ticked a little bit. Over half their HP depleted, and the defense is... call that a tick. Yeah. Well, now they're fully dead, so whatever it was, it's death now. Rich missing the shots onto the roof there. That's unfortunate for them. They could have had a kill there, and, well, they're going to keep the man advantage on Faded side of things. And they have penthouse control. Attackers have located a... It looks like they have, like, penthouse and VIP. That's, like, half of that top four. That's Rich getting taken out by KJX. He has two kills now on the round. There we go. The re-host really stepping up for KJX. And he is, uh, going off with that LMG. Gotta love the LMG. And we're gonna see a bit more of it, I feel, here. So you're gonna open up the VIP wall to try and get the right angle over into... The couch position there. That's Admiral taken down and finished off by the fire arrow, I'm sure. And well, that was I don't know what the heck just happened there. That is a good question. Oh, the Wamai. Like, oh, there was a Wamai on the table. I wasn't sure. I was about to guess at that, but I wasn't quite certain. You're getting hit by the Malusi here. The one HP. And looking the wrong way, gets caught out. That's Mozzie with the kill. He has that sliver of HP and gets finished off. That's Kjax getting credit with that kill. That's a triple kill for them on their own. Faded, a... not slowing down. That rehost didn't slow them down at all. That's four in a row for them. And well, that's going to be a 5-5 five -five split now in Aviator. They're the ones who are seemingly in trouble as, well, the next two rounds will still be them on defense and they haven't found a single one yet. Now is the second to last round, so things go according to uh, the same way that Faded had theirs go. Aviate should win this round, and they are going blue. They're going double bar. Yeah, blue and sunrise down there in the basement, with the castle being brought by Temp. That's pretty common, I would say. Castle is pretty important on especially those third sites of any map, almost. It's almost always something that is brought. Castle oh, what gives a you. six pick. From the gridlock to the gridlock. Wow. Really, uh, you, know, you can't say enough about that. It's just so clever. And doing a little bit of damage to his partner there. Uh, the impact hitting fatality for a little bit of damage. But, you know, not a lot, so they'll, they'll move on with their day. But something to notice. Costing, I think is what that is, right? Costing. Yeah. <laughs> Cost him some HP. Yeah. Our vocabulary is the best we have a huge i can't do the voice <laughs> <laughs> it was a good attempt yeah I, I you know i i have a hard time sounding like an idiot you know? <laughs> sorry maybe that's a uh, I don't, i'm not trying to get political it's more just a joke but you know yes yeah, so life goes on <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm not Parker. I won't go there. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I'm just joking. I love Intero and Kicks. You know, he's just he's best duo. To you. We're close you like that. Par <laughs> you just <laughs> Parker and Michael. Well, Rich. Uh, ever oh, since the switch over, he's doing a lot of work on that Ash, but the Geeker, it's a not not as much. You, you you hope to see him kind of start popping off a little bit more here. He's been a huge rock for them on, on the other side of things. It's just, well, honestly, at this point, you want anyone to really step it up on the defenses. They really need a round here. I think the big name for Faded has been Burberry, as he gets hit for a lot of damage, but well, he's blue. been the big guy for them. Kjax has certainly popped off in the last round, and we're going to continue on this round, getting the opening kill here. That's Baloo taken out. Baloo's been having a, a harder time of things, I would say, and, well, that's a, a Fatality, I think, right? No, Admiral, excuse me. They, they keep Admiral. switching. They keep switching who's on that role of Maestro, but in this case, whoever it is, they keep dying. Rich getting a kill on the KWD, so getting a kill with that uh, Jaeger, but you're down to a 3v4 now. What are you going to be able to do? They have a lot of verticality. Right. K-Tax and Burberry are still quite low. Both to Burberry and like two to Kjax could take a map both. So not everything is lost here. Not all hope is gone. They can still bring it back. We're just gonna have to see it happen. As Temp is taking some damage. And he's so getting reflexed. A lot of uh, damage done from that vertical play. And they're almost catching him out, but he's running and putting him in a little bit of a dance. And Rich, in the meantime, I'm gonna find a kill on the Burberry. Almost finding a second. Not quite able to. He's gonna retreat into the lobby area here. He's gonna be caught out here if he's not careful. And they're gonna start pushing up, trying to find him. They don't know where he is, and does he know where this, this capital is? And his LMG. That's Temp getting a kill. It was an engagement with Reflex. Comes out on top of it, and now things are looking pretty good for them. So they're in a two, uh, sorry, three v two. That's Rich Only getting a kill on a KJX, and now it's a one v three. Faded. It's all a mystic, but he has full health. It's not me. Still a chance. Both Temp and Ooh. Tyler. So, nice engagement HP. coming out. Black Ass on the pistol as well. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a Just showing off. <laughs> Gonna try and use that pistol. Can't quite get the kill. Does a lot of damage with it. And gets the down. It's a Zofia. Gotta finish her off. Nice headshot. And Aviate is keeping the pattern going as they do win that second to last round of their defense. But they could change it all up. They need to win one round to take the map. Well, or if they lose, they send us to overtime. If all things are equal, this will be faded round and we'll see in overtime. That'd be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? It would be. 5-1 splits on each end. Very attacker-sided, to say the least. But... The defense really made it their sight for sure. Well, it's up to Faded to see if this will be a symmetrical round count or not. As they are going to. Theater. They're going to be going against a defense we haven't seen until now. First time this sight has been brought up. Baloo going to switch over to a bandit here. I don't think we've seen him play that role yet. So that'll hopefully nope. be a welcome change as they've been having a rougher time. So hopefully this will be what they need. This is this is for the map here. Faded, on the other hand, if they lose this round, they lose the map, so they're kind of going to be under a lot of pressure here. No, they can either thrive under pressure or... I couldn't think of a rhyme. Bad, do bad under pressure. <laughs> well, when you can't rhyme, just say how it is. It is what it is. That would be a good word. I don't think there is a word. Well, are they going to thrive or are they going to nosedive? Drive off a cliff. Yeah, that's another one. <laughs> it worked. Well, attacker's coming up. I think they droned well enough to understand where the new site is going to be. They go straight for that... Uh, VIP belt, opening up the window there, getting rid of the default cams. Nice to see, you don't like to see them miss those and give the information for free to the defenders. 
on the defensive side of things. We see Baloo just hanging out below the hatch here in bathroom up near Pent, and they're gonna be waiting for this hatch to be opened up. Rich over here on the Jaeger. He's gonna be trying to play a dangerous game as he's getting flanked from both sides, and he walked right past someone. Unaware that they're on the other side of the wall. It does take a lot of damage. It's down to just over a quarter of his HP. But he's still alive. And so we'll see how much damage he's able to do with that sliver of HP that's left. Oh, he gets taken out. That's unfortunate. As they kind of double pick him there, there's going to be some attempts here to take out that shield sitting in 90. They're going to have to burn it out as that was the Wamai there. Looks like that's it. It's done. Fatality over there. Gonna have to back off. KJX getting a kill on the blue in the meantime, and things are falling apart for AV. They're down to a 3v5. Don't count them out quite yet, though. Oh, definitely not. Admiral taking a kill for themselves onto Mystic. Fates almost getting caught out while uh, meleeing, but they aren't. And he does get taken out from behind, top of white. Admiral gonna push out, get caught by KWD. Temp getting a kill on the Kjex. And it's all left up to the Maestro in a 1v3. Gonna get caught from front end back, doesn't matter. KWD gets the credit. And we're going to overtime. 5-1 splits on both sides. The exact same round being won on defense, the second to last. But nothing more being found on either side. And well, if that's any indication of how this overtime is going to go, Faded gets to go on attack. And they have the advantage. Oh dear. Well, I think I know where Aviate's gonna go. Yep. Double bar. That's, that's the only one they won. See GK and Chad asking about the uh, the format, but it makes more sense. You have to have two people in the lower bracket finals, so yeah. someone has to lose the upper bracket to go into the lower bracket finals. So uh, I did not really understand that, but I mean, hopefully that it makes sense now. I understand confusion can sometimes happen. So no, I mean I under I didn't understand his confusion. Either way, this is like it's the most common format. You see, you see it in right it's in Pro League too, too right? Entered. In this case, AV8 going to be hoping to change the flow of things as defense has not been anyone's favor, certainly not theirs. They lost five and only won one. And they're stuck with two defenses here if it goes the full distance. And, well, they have to change the tune of that either this round or if they manage to win next round, they'll have to change it in the eighth round. But, you know, take it one step at a time. Let's see what they're able to do here. They're going blue bar sunrise. One of those off sites that you don't see too often. Trying to change things up in, in hopes that the change will change the outcome as well. Hope and pray. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb and defuse it. To think that at the end of the of Aviate's defensive half, that would be an overtime after they were up five to one. Yeah, I hate to see it on their side of things at least. On the other side of things, Faded probably feeling pretty good about themselves winning five out of the last six rounds and while well, they also stay on the same side that they were winning on which is attack and they're hoping to continue that dominance kjax especially out here five and two. Uh, that's reflex and admiral shredding some blows but reflex comes out on top sliver of hp left but the man count in their favor yikes not a good start for av8 that's your Malusi taken off the board, so that's a C4 gone. Already got their gadgets down at least, so there's that on the plus side. And full vertical control. And that's why you bring that hard breach gadget, gets the hatch open here. Buck, exactly. Buck surviving that encounter are pretty important actually, because they get to make those open holes in the ceiling. And they're gonna continue doing just that. Trying to find out whoever's down there in the bar area, if there is anyone. Well, it this takes is. a little bit of time, but n still half the round left. And, well, AV8. They're really, they're really open that this time will play in their, their favor because three of them are stacked up off to the west side of Sunrise here. Well, they're relying on that last person to really deny any plan over in blue. Because they are pinched out here. KWD missing the shots, not able to find that rotating player. On the other side of things, ooh, that's the buck taken out. 
about a refrag being found. So Rich and Temp finding a kill, KWD getting a refrag on to Temp, and a down, no, player, a blue. He's gonna push up and get taken out, KWD gets shot in the head by Fatality. It's just him and Tyler standing up, Baloo is down, so it's essentially a 2v2 at this point. 50 seconds remaining. He's gonna come over here, help his buddy up as the, here, the attacker on the other side of that doorway. That's the ace. They're gonna have to hope for some. Not oh. like that. <laughs> That's what they're not hoping for. They're hoping they there get this wall go. open. On the other side of the thing, we see Mystic rotating around. Some damage being done, but no kills being found. Mystic engaging with Rich over there, but nothing really being found for them either. So they only have 20 seconds left. This round is falling away from them. And that's a kill coming out against Faded. Baloo getting in the kill on the Burberry. Right when you need it most, Baloo's able to get that kill. Mystic, you're the last one. 1v3, 10 seconds. They already know this round's pretty much done. I'm pretty sure. Yep, Malusi catching them out. The Wub Wub, it's done. Faded winning a defensive round to start off overtime. Operators, you are out of time. There, easy. Now they have, I guess, the advantage here as they beat uh, Faded at least once on every single site. Except for Penthouse Theater, which Faded never went. So, Faded never beat Aviate on double bar, but Aviate, who won five of their defensive rounds, I mean attacking rounds, have won at least once on each site that Faded have went. So, definitely an advantage for them on attack compared to Faded's advantage in the round before. Right, well, still, gotta say, it looked like that Faded should have had the advantage there, and they didn't win. So saying that AV has the advantage here is hard to say again, because over time, apparently, it looks like it could be a whole different beast. So I wouldn't be I surprised. Think a different advantage. <laughs> right. far, okay. A different type of advantage. Let's put it like that. Well, they're gonna go. I actually didn't Attack catch what defense they went. They, they're going. Okay, they're going to hook up. So your standard site, but is this the site they won? That one round. Um. I'm trying to remember what it was. Might have been. Oh, either way, they only won one site once, and they lost all the other sites once at least, so no matter how you look at it, it's statistically not great. This might be the best defense if they did win it. Either way, it's still a tall task. Burberry almost getting shot on there. Luckily, they're in sync. And no damage being done to their teammate. I am actually surprised that that hasn't happened yet. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you know the uh, faded history with uh, killing TKs? each other. TK's team damage. And we haven't seen anything from them at all. Yeah, they've been pretty good about that. Props to Faded for that. Aviate now leading in team damage done. I'm gonna say KWD is getting droned out. He's gonna be doing a lot of, uh, well, risky play, but a lot of work hopefully down here below. He's gonna be denying it, but he can't. That's Rich on the Ash, I'm pretty sure, coming in, Just getting the kill. And a double kill for him. My goodness. I mentioned before that on the uh, Yaker he needed to do more work, and well, he did a lot of work, and then we see him continue where he left off on the Ash. As on attack, he was certainly a force to be reckoned with. He can continue that domination. Buck below, gonna be doing some work with their uh, shotgun. If Rich isn't careful though, he's gonna get caught out. He catches Kjax on that rotate down the stairs and he's only left with 25 HP or so left. Rich really told himself, he's like, we ain't losing another round, it's really popping off now. You gotta be careful about this uh, defender over there in the lobby though, because that is the Jaeger roaming around. Oh, and he does get taken out. That's Rich continuing the reign of terror. He's on a tear here. Three kills. All the kills coming for him. Is he going to be able to get the ace? Or... I'm curious if he's going to be able to get the ace or if his teammates are going to, you know, take it from him. Well, he's rotated up. They're, they're being kind enough to let him have the entry here. Let's see if he can finish off the round with an ace for himself. That's kind of them. They're going to try and get the plant down, it looks like, as they're taking out the Malusi and the Evil Lion. Well, we see Lion here with the Diffuser in hand. He's going to go behind that bomb site. Temp getting a kill, so no more ace for you, Rich. Sorry. It was a nice try. But he might get the quad here, depending on who finds Kjax. 
But this round is virtually done. This is going to be the map in Aviate's favor unless we can see a miracle from Kajax. He starts it with one, but no, Temp. Gonna finish him off. That finishes the map off. Map one, narrow, but an 8-6 win going in Aviate's favor. That was close to it for sure. And Firefly, to answer your question, yes, this is a best of three. That's the first map Aviate win that was actually Faded's pick, though. And so... We're going to have to see what happens in the second map here. So we're going to have a very small, small break here.
All right, and here we are back in the action. And we're going to be going into Aviate's map pick. They did win on Faded, and this is going to be Clubhouse. So we'll see what bans come out here for the operators. Faded are going to have the first ban yet again because they are defense since they chose defense, as this is Aviate's map pick. I love Clubhouse. It's a great map compared to the other ones in the pool. Yeah, well, you said you love Cafe, so which one is more? Cafe. And there goes the Montang once again. They really do not want Temp playing it. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want Temp on the Visibly shield. upset. See. <laughs> yes. See. Oh, he knows Spanish. More than me, that's for sure. They're going to take <laughs> out the Maverick. So Thatcher's going to be available. We haven't seen a Thatcher available in a game in a while. So that'd be interesting. Oh, yeah. We love Thatcher. Yeah. Sad boy, my friend calls him. Because I think he has like a mask that makes him look really sad. I never even noticed that. That just makes Thatcher being banned even more Sadder. depressing. <laughs> uh, Mira being banned, not Thatcher. surprising. Really, really strong on this map, I would say. In a lot of different places. So many. Uh, we've seen him brought on gym in places. We've seen him brought on the CC. We've seen him brought in basement. And, well, no one plays bar. So, all three sites. Viable option. <laughs> and Clash. So, this time... No. <laughs> we saw you play him last map. We're not doing it again. T-Cause. Use a gun. gun. <laughs> no more shield ops for you, Temp. Well. Oh, they make him mad. That's gonna be... Two picks dedicated to one person, so target bans for sure. Well, what are we going to see <laughs> coming out on the attack and defense? I guess we'll find out here. They're going to go upstairs, as you might expect. CC and Cash being the two uh, places for the bombs, but the most common site, I think. And uh, Basement will certainly be the second one. And third site, this is that gym defense. So uh, Nobody if... likes, uh, what is it? Uh, bar, bar. Stock, bar, yeah, stock. bar stock. That's terrible, Nobody terrible, bar stock. <laughs> terrible fourth site. No one plays. If I saw a bar stock, I would. Attackers I don't even know how I would react. Uh, well, I'd have Pikachu face probably. <laughs> well, what you'd expect is probably they're gonna reinforce the bottom of the garage here. They're gonna be reinforcing the CC wall. They're gonna be reinforcing one of the walls on the back there. As you see, Kjax doing reinforcing everything. So, just getting the typical pushes and other areas being reinforced as well for holding angles. Rotate into garage, pretty common. Oh, nothing crazy. Uh, operator loadout, we see the Cade and Bandit being brought. That's pretty common too, actually, as you need a lot of different walls to be uh, denied. The Thatcher. Yeah, the Thatcher. Right. I was going to say. The Thatcher is going to be in play, but you can still Bandit and Cade trick, so... I mean, you can have your the bandit put down everything, have Cade hold on to at least one. Right, Just exactly. Scatter, boom, throw another. I expect bottom of garage they're going to open up, but I don't see Hibana being brought, so that's actually interesting. They only have the Thermite, so only one hard breach coming out. They do have the Thatcher, as we mentioned, so that's obviously going to make it a lot easier. And then Sledge, Zofia, and Ash, kind of all staples on attack for being fraggers. You see the grenades with the blue there on the Sledge. You see Temp and Rich on those... Very similar ops of Zofia and Ash. On the defense, though, got the smoke for the denial of plant. And he sees a drone there. That's Burberry taking a lot of damage also down below here. Gonna rotate down blue. Try not to get caught out. Survive and see another, well, minute of this round at least. That's what he's hoping for. Hope and pray. I actually and did not realize that Jack switched. Yeah. yeah I... I spoke to him. I did not realize that Temp switched to the Zofia, but he's dead now, so... So what does it matter? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know if I count that as a cast or a curse, but you did just say their name before they died, so that's your fault, yeah. Danny. Be careful. I, I'm so, I, if Temp, if you watch the VOD after, I'm sorry. Well, that's an early man count going on the defense side of things. They do have the wall open, though, for the attack side. And, they're going to be trying to see what they can do with that. Half a round kill. 4v5. Two play people playing up top on red there. 
It's uh, interesting to note. This is KWD and KJX playing next to each other. See, Maestro's going to be playing on the upstairs. It doesn't matter. Burberry, I'm going to get kill on a rich. Maybe getting some information from the Maestro. Maybe called out that push before. Some feet getting shot, but no kill found. That's Admiral. And they do get finished off by Reflex, though. So this team coming out to play on this map as they are dominating this first round. On the other side of things, there's only two attackers left. And they're going to have to pull out some sort of miracle here. A nice shot from Blue gets KWD, though. But his partner, the Thermite, is taken out. And it's all on your back as a Thatcher. No breaching capabilities, really. Oh, excuse me, sorry, that's Sludge. Not, sludge. Not, not, not the Thatcher. No Thatcher. <laughs> Either way, you're left alone on a 1v4, and you only got that kill, so uh, you have to go to Ace here. 20 seconds damage, left. A nice kill. He finds another kill on that same angle. That's Burberry taken out. They're just feeding him, but you only have 15 seconds left. There's a smoke. You're probably not going to be able to get much done here. You're going to have to push, and you get taken out. Mystic, nice headshot. With that Elda and Faded, really never in doubt on that round as they just had the man count all the way through and never gave it up. He didn't even have to use that, uh, all of those bullets. Right, just a quick couple. Just a pew pew. That's not what a gun sounds like. Good enough for my uh, my ears. True. You hear a pew pew, you know it's a gun. Well, this time they do bring that Hibana. I thought they would bring him before. It's usually pretty common. You bring it on the backside, construction, and yet they might open the main wall. But they, uh, well, they won up there, so now they're going to be playing for the downstairs. Well, Hibana's still useful. Open up the hatches. Save the Thermite for that church wall. Probably the mentality there. I'm not quite sure. But either way, more hard breach is not a bad thing on this map, for certain. And Pulse, expecting to Pulse. So that's big brain. Big brain play. You know, they'll never see it coming. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, they will. Yeah, you know, they, they actually will. <laughs> they will see it coming. <laughs> but maybe he didn't. Maybe. Oh, we have you know, a sound bug. I'm just going to stop talking because I can't figure out what I'm saying. Nice sound bug. We can't hear the reinforcements as they're going down. Can't hear the footsteps. So we have that again, just like we had last uh, last match we cast it. So that's fun. But doesn't particularly matter. We can still hear most of the important sounds. We can hear some footsteps apparently, and well, gadgets being put down and pew pews we can hear. So we'll, we'll bear with it. No need to rehose. We don't need to go through that again. We already had two on the last map. Hopefully this map we have none. That'd be ideal. Yeah. Well, uh. Doc roaming, interesting decision, almost getting caught out on a pre-fire. But he survives to see another day, doesn't take any damage either, so that's pretty lucky. But that was your only roamer, I believe, and, well, that means everyone else is going to be down here, and they're going to get upstairs control pretty quickly. KWD playing here in the generator in blue. I'm trying to see what they're going to do there. Put the bulletproof in the hallway here, looking towards the main stairs. And they're going to come right back to blue. So, interesting to see. I don't see a ADS here, so that could be dangerous for the doc. But if they get down with a grenade, they can always pick themselves back up, at least with a stim. So there's that. Hatch being opened up by that Habana above. And that's blue hatch opened. The Pulse here are going to be feeding a lot of information. They know that there's going to be the breaching coming out, but they're going to try and... Oh, they fail. They can't... Well, no, they does get it. I don't think I don't think I got it. Okay, so looks like he failed to uh, impact trick, but they do manage to stop it. But I think he wasted both of his impacts, possibly. Nope, he still had some. Oh, there's a little slot of it open, though. Yep, and uh, well, I'm not quite sure what happened. If that finished How off many the breach or not? Does the have left though? Because it's not three charges anymore; it's a bunch of pellets. Right? Are they only using four to try and open it up? That's a really good question. Either um, way, well, that's zero. That's the rest of them used up. So maybe he didn't uh, switch it to four for the hatch and wasted them. Had he had he done four, that literally gives you one more because you saved two each time. He would have had one more on it. So that's just uh, unfortunate. But that's a nice kill from Baloo onto Mystic. Start things off. So a lot of time killed though, and Rich getting a second kill on the Burberry, and the hatch was opened up. So it actually wasn't a waste. Rich on the other side over there on that. Uh, Ash, and they're in sight. Reflex taking some damage. That's someone over in dirt. I was just talk about talking dead. about them, but he's dead. 
Rich getting another kill, and he's continuing his terror with the Ash. We'll see if he can continue to pick things off. Baloo getting killed at KWD, and that's only left up to Kjax with a little he's bit of extra skin, stim from the dock. But here are no 1v5. That's a TK from Baloo. Nice. Not quite sure why, but he gets caught in the back, so Fatality finishes up. Should have been a flawless round. They ruined that for themselves, but still a handed win. And, well, kind of the opposite of what we found in the first round. Each team having one round in their favor that was never really in question. Once again, looks like it's going to be a close one. So, uh, stick around, folks, because this is going to last a while. Maybe we'll see another overtime. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're already two, almost two hours into this stream. This match. Well, it's going to be a long night. They went upstairs, the so they have to go back downstairs. Uh, or, or they could try gym, but typically like downstairs more. All right, muted myself because I had to sneeze, so excuse me. Um, but <laughs> on the attacker side of things, same lineup. And, well, it doesn't really make sense to change when you had such a dominating round the previous one just now. So they're going to stick with what worked. And on the defensive side of things, we do see a little bit of a change. I think uh, they didn't have the Cade before. I think they had the Bandit, if I remember correctly. And so Cade going to be... A little bit more useful. Oh, or oh, 100% for the hatches. I was gonna say as well. There's definitely no doc in the lineup either. So and no pulse. Switching things up, trying to be a little bit more uh, standard in the lineup. They have a uh, Maestro, Jaeger, and Smoke. So three that you see a lot. Malusi's becoming more and more of a staple pick as she brings that. Did they bring a Jaeger last time though? That's true. I'm, I'm more just pointing out like no, the, I don't like, think they did. Oh, no, I don't think they did, actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Well, Burbering did a lot of damage the last map with it, so I, I, I like to see him go back to it. He has a really good gun, you're the one who roams mostly for your team, and now you're taking a lot of damage. Taking damage. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> but hey, cursed. it's only one-fourth, so he's still surviving. It's just a little bit. And he's going to hope that they, well, that they get a little arrogant and push... And don't watch the back. So that's his game plan. I'm gonna lurk. I'm gonna roam. I'm gonna flank. And I'm gonna get kills. That drone, I don't know if it was actually looking the right way, but it certainly did as soon as he shot those bullets. And now they're gonna find him out. He's gonna have to rotate up, try and get out of here. But attackers, not finishing him off, they're certainly gonna have to be wary of what he's gonna be bringing to the table. As he hasn't been punished. Oh, almost getting shot from the top of red stairs there, but he gets away. He sees a drone go past him, but he's going to continue on as if nothing had happened. Someone looking up through the window down below. Is he going to get caught out? A little bit. Still alive. And he's going to continue menacing these attackers. Because they haven't been able to focus on the push since he's been distracting them so well. And he gets a nice kill on the rich. That's Diffuser, I think, too. Oh, and he gets picked off from the window. That's Hibana. Nice shot. Temp finishing things off, and it's an even man count yet again. But that Jaeger doing work killed half the time. He's going to have to rely on the rest of his teammates to, well, secure the win here. And he is doing the four pellets at a time, so doing smart utility, not trying not to be wasteful. C4! Almost catching Temp. He survives. Thatcher are going to have to help clean up this mess with the cage and get this hatch open. On the other side of things, they're down below. They're going to be hitting with C4s and with impacts, trying to deny this upstairs aggression. And Reflex almost getting caught out, but survives. Doesn't take any damage, actually. Pretty good work there. And Thatcher no longer destroys things. That was a change they made a little while back. And Well, if you don't destroy the gadget itself, it will reactivate, and we see that happening. So... Smart plays coming out on the defense, playing it, playing with the time here. Reflex gonna rotate back into the corner. That's KJX gonna kill the Admiral though. In the meantime, that's Diffuser down. 20 seconds left. What are you going to do? Temp getting a kill on the KWD. Reflex getting Temp, but then Fatality getting a kill themselves. Nice kill by KJX. He's kind of carrying this team at this moment as he has that Diffuser down. He's gonna rotate back, but he gets caught out. Five seconds left. 
this sledge is going to have to start planting, and they're going to get caught up by this defender if they start pushing up. And they will. Will they get them in time? And they do. Oh. Plant doesn't even go down. Kind of scary that they almost missed them, but they do manage to flick in time before that plant's down, and they're able to pick up their weapon. And, well, defense cleaning up around. It got a little close there at the end, but the time killed really gave it to them. And they capitalize on it. 2-1. So nothing surprising so far, I would say. Time is everything in this game, really. Even with the Thatcher you gotta work at, available. You've got to work at a perfect balance of not going too soon, but not going uh, too late. Mm. It's all timing. Well, even with the Thatcher being brought, I was going to say, it's kind of interesting it's still a 2-1 split. It's looking like it'll be a 4-2 split, which is pretty standard on defense. So, you thought maybe, well, I thought maybe the Thatcher would, you know, change things up. And he still can, but so far it's going pretty standard. Yeah, we still have three rounds. Mm. Sorry. Interesting to note, Mystic is going to be on the Bandit now. Not a role we've seen him play in much. Reflex on the Cade and Burberry on the <laughs> Maestro. And he's okay. usually the Jaeger main, and KWD's over on that role now, so a few... They want KWD to get some frags now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They're trying to give some confidence, give him the gun. Now, the Aldo's a good gun, don't get me wrong, but I don't think KWD's a maestro player much, so... They're going to allow Burberry to take that gun and see what he can do with it. Indeed they will. On the other side of things, we're seeing a, the combo being brought that we haven't seen yet, which is Ace and Thermite, along with that Thatcher. So they're, they're going to continue with that double hard breach uh, loadout lineup that they were having in the second round and third round. Well, I think it's the smart move on a map like this. Definitely. You know, you don't really... An ace is probably more valuable than a Havana on this site specifically. So. And it's interesting to know that KWD is down below on the Jaeger doing the roam, so they could uh, come back to haunt the attackers if they don't flush them out. High uh, rotation abilities, possibly a flank. Admiral gonna get this wall open with the help of the Thatcher, and it looks like it's gonna be successful. The wall soft wall over here, quickly. onto that balcony yeah, near construction. Wall. So that's kind of interesting. A lot of the time you'll see that reinforced, but not this time. Silly faded. They're noticing that they don't have a player over here on the upper west floor. I think they're going to start pushing construction too, if I had to guess. Waiting for the call that is clear. Oh, that's a nice engagement coming out, but no kill being found. I thought that Admiral was about to find the person on the corner, but they didn't see him. Yeah. And they're no longer there. That's reflexing and killing attempt, though. So the attacker's losing a man early. And Faded will have the man count advantage and half the round killed. That's a grenade, not doing a lot of damage. Almost finding Burberry. Tyler getting hit now a bit as well. I think he was below getting shot from above. He's down yeah. there in stock. Yep, he's on the Zofia, interesting to note. No longer on that Ash. He's gonna see someone and gets the kill on a Mystic. That's Baloo getting a kill on the Burberry now. And it's refried quickly from both a top garage and someone came down main stairs to get that. So that's Rich taking out Zofia, we were just speaking of. Vitality outside of this, hoping to find the person at the top of the uh, garage. Only does a lot of damage to him. Reflex down to only a sliver of HP. And it's a 2v3 for the defenders. But they get a kill, bringing it back to a closer man count. 2v2, Admiral getting the plant down. And getting a kill. And that's Fatality finishing it up on Reflex. The one they hate damage at the top. He finishes off, gets the kill. And the round comes back to even. Back and forth. Sort of, but... Uh, yeah, it is actually back and forth. Well, I think so Faded... Uh... Yeah, it was Faded, AV8, Faded, AV8. Yep. And both uh, sites 1-1. One, one. They're going to go back up to CC. They won it the first time, they just lost it now. That was their second time, so this will be their third time at this site. See what success they will find, as it is about a 50 50 chance here with those statistics. It's always a 50 50 chance. 
we see some baits coming out. There's no mute. They're going to switch over back to the Maestro, which was brought before. And KWD, I actually said, maybe not liking that. That's why they're on the Yeager. Well, they're actually going to go to the Maestro, so we'll see how he does on that. Not a roll. I think we've seen him go on yet. And Rich is going to return to that Ash. I think way more comfort with the gun rather than the Sophia. Not to say they were doing bad with the Sophia. They got a kill, but I think overall we've seen him play a lot more Ash. So. Ash is... I feel like more his main than Sophia. More comfortable on it, you could say. As Baloo, having himself a game so far at 6 and 3. Yeah, he's that going off. Leader of the lobby. After a not so great showing in the last map, I'll say. I mean, he didn't do bad, but what we expect from him is a little bit better than that. And, well, he's certainly picking it up here. Definitely. Gonna band it down below. Like this for sure. Yeah, and I'll be I'll be curious to see how he does on defenses. He's been known to be that roamer for his team in the flanker, so we'll see what he's able to do there. But we still got two more rounds of this defense for them on the other side. Faded. We'll see if they can pick up the two rounds we'd expect, or is it gonna not be a four-two split? Is it gonna be a little different? Reflux and temp trading damage on each other. And here's the engagements. He does a lot of damage to temp. He's only down to a tick of HP and reflex well over at half of his HP, so certainly winning that round. That I don't know if that's going to be in time, and it is. Rich, though, getting a kill in the Burberry. In the meantime, that's your Jaeger roaming around getting killed, but they did bandit trick successfully, so that's one charge done. Rich here going to stop that bandit, get him out of there, play from below, try and stop the bandit tricking. There's a kid coming out, and he's going to get killed as he's trying to shoot it off of the wall. Nice teamwork. K Jack coming down, cleaning up Rich on that Ash. Even man count, but Temp again, very damaged, so he's going to be very careful. Good hold on the wall from Faded, though, as Temp takes down KWD. And he has a sliver of HP, but players. he's able to work with that sliver of HP and get the kill. Did both of those ace? We're just missed. Oh, Reflex able to get a nice shot, but Blue is going to get a kill for himself. And Temp getting another kill, getting it on Reflex. It's on Kjax now. And Temp getting another kill on Kjax, I wasn't sure who was going to find him, but Temp going off that round, even with a sliver of HP, is managing to get three kills after that. AK-12. Just when you think you're finding the right point of view, someone else gets the kill, I swear. <laughs> Well, that's a round of Navy 8, so they're going to at least have a 3-3 three, three split on their attack. So, the 4-2 not coming to fruition for Faded. They're going to have to hope that they can win this round here, because they do not want to go down 4-2 when they're going on their attack. That's for sure. Who knows, maybe this match will all be about attack. Yeah, with the Never. Thatcher being open, perhaps that's how it swings. Admiral was teasing the Ash play, but they're going to switch back to the Thermite that they're more known for, and Mystic... Not going to go on the vigil, going to bring the Melissa instead. So, two important six picks, changing possibly what role they'll be playing for their Attackers team. Need to locate and bomb. I mean, I wouldn't say the vigil to the Melusi is such a change in the role, but definitely the Ash to well, the Thermite. Certainly, you can roam with both of those ops, but at, at the very least, the Melusi gives your team more play that they can use as the Wubbubs are going to be more team oriented than a single roaming vigil with his, you know, drone denying. I love that, the Wub Wubs. I, I, what are they called again? I, I just call them Wub Wubs now. Banshee, that was it. I just call them the Malusi things. Or Banshee sometimes. But they make a Wub Wub noise. That's true. I've never thought of them as Wub Wubs, but I love that. I think I picked it up from Pro League, so I cannot claim that as my... Oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> that's my thing. I just remembered. <laughs> Kickstar, I think, was the one that was using it. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think I think everyone's been using it. I know uh, Jess over in EU is a caster over there. I think she says it as well. Everyone just be calling Bob Wubs. Burberry on the roam as always is on this a uh, almost said Ash roam, but it's the Jaeger. But basically the Ash equivalent for defense. Close enough. <laughs> it's basically the same. We'll see if he can get something here. He knows someone is outside that billiard window. There's a drone coming in, we can hear it coming out, and they're gonna find him out. So, now he could be caught in danger here. They didn't shoot through that door, he's pretty lucky, honestly. They didn't pre-fire that. 
And he's able to escape with his life, go downstairs, and, and rejoin his team down below. And about a minute as he lapsed, as these attackers are just now starting to really get inside the building. They're gonna drone. KWD, KWD got that donut right now. Ooh. Hopefully not helping his team. Well, he had one last time and he managed to get a kill. Mystic, though, gonna get taken up by Rich in the meantime as we're talking about that. But back to it, he could still get a kill here and, and end that donut, certainly. Can do it. So Rich is over in dirt, and he knows that the Jaeger is playing pretty close to him. He's hoping they can catch him unawares, but they're both aware of each other. And that's going to be a stalemate for the time being. They're trying to open up the floor, open up the hatches, do what they can to support him, get some more angles to help him. As if they can't open up angles to help him, he'll be stuck in this dirt with no support. That's the cage trick coming in handy. Still have that all all that vertical to play with so, the sledge. A lot of time being killed and well, they do find a kill Ajax though. Him down. I think we see Rich is gonna start pushing up here. The pre placed smoke, but the smoke was dead, so I didn't even really have to worry about that, but better safe than sorry. Rich engaging with I believe the cade on this end of that. Burberry taking Huge amount of damage from Reflex the getting a kill on the temp though in the meantime. So that's a good kill for the defense. And another kill. KWD getting Admiral down. No longer having that donut. And they have the man advantage as well. 3 2. Balloon's going to have to come down the stairs in the backside. Oh no, 3 3, excuse me. Even man count. But only 20 seconds to play with. That's Reflex getting a kill. And another kill coming out for uh, the Maestro of Reflex. And Burberry finishes it off on the blue. And that looked like Everything a. Looked, it looked like it was in uh, AVH's favor there. Early on, certainly, but that defense really stalled them out, and then, well, they funneled. That's what happens when you're out of time. And the 3 3 split happens. And now. For AVH, they're happy, I guess. Are happier than the alternative. Um, faded not so much, as this is a defender side of map, and you definitely want to come out with a, a, a split in your favor. Well, with the Thatcher available, we'll see if they're able to emulate what they just saw as being successful in their attacks. KJX did a lot of work on that Capital in the last map, as we saw in the, the last few rounds there, but he's going to switch over to those V instead. They're continuing to bring a double hard breach uh, lineup here on their attack, their first attack, but they're going to keep the theme going as they have both the Ace and, and the Hibana. They must have known they're going downstairs. That's my guess. Could be. I mean... It is a thing that uh, if you never go the site you expect in that first round, so. Yeah, that seems to be something they like to do to trip up their opponents. Also, to note, they're going to bring bringing up a little bit of a different lineup than what we've seen. We haven't seen the mute being brought yet, and or we the didn't. Valk. Yeah, the Valk, and I was going to say the Wamai wasn't really brought that yeah. much. Yet. So they're having I don't a very. Think it was it brought, brought at all? Actually, I don't think it was brought at all. So that's three ops that uh, well, we didn't really see at all from Faded Defense. Completely different strategy. Five seconds left. So we'll see if this will work for uh, Aviator or not. Well, that's Baloo on the um, Valkyrie, who's having a really good game. And as I pointed out before, they're normally the one who's roaming, so not surprising to see them up here in bedroom off site. Going to be trying to do some work for his team. As we saw, the delay of time can really be a factor. Rich on the Jaeger roll. We saw him doing pretty well, but uh, he's breaking even on the kill-death ratio, so hopefully he can do a little bit more work on the Jaeger than he did on the Ash. He had one round, really, I remember, that he's popping off, but outside of that, pretty quiet. Temp holding an aggressive angle down in blue. Let's see if we can get anyone that hatch. Rich is going to be playing close on blue here, see if anyone's uh, going to be too aggressive. But they uh, actually start walking away from his position. So The extended roam not finding anyone out. The C4 missing as well. The hatch is opened. Kitchen, important to note. And these... Uh, and the admiral's taking damage. And he gets he a kill. kill and that's Thatcher that's off the board. <laughs> so, pretty important. Pretty important big kill. Picks, big plays. 
Well, some of the work already done, and that's Mystic taken out by Rich, so that's the Jaeger coming out and getting a kill on the roam. So playing in blue paid off in the long run. Indeed it did, and it's a 5v3 now. Camera's Still doing work, getting all the information they need. They know where a lot of these attackers are, and it's a 5v3, so things looking very in the favor of Aviate. A lot of damage coming into Admiral, but not killed. Reflex being taken out by Temp. And we'll see if he's able to find another one. Using the bullet holes, of course. Vitality engaging with someone on the stairs here. We see Blue up top. What is he going to do? That's Rich on the Jaeger getting a kill. And Blue finishing it off on the Burberry. That's a flawless round. And AB8 looking really dominant on their first defense. Supposedly Kjax died to air. Whatever that means. Uh, I'm not quite sure either. <laughs> Airman. Was there the, uh... No, the Elite of Yeager isn't allowed, so... No, he doesn't have the Elite on either. Right, so that's what I was wondering. That's, like, that's a, one thing I could think of, but... You know, maybe it was like a good oh. glitch. Uh-oh. He said if he gets killed by that bullet, I'll give you a kiss. Remember last map he said that? <laughs> so now he's uh, he's asking cool. for that kiss. Temp. Reflex said, Temp, if you kill me with a bullet hole again, I'm going to give you a big kiss or something like that. So <laughs> some flirting coming out in chat. Yeah. NSFW should be on the, uh, <laughs> the tag of this video. <laughs> That's some spicy chat coming out. Tap patiently waiting for what he's gonna get from Reflex, but <laughs> Reflex just not gonna say anything. He said, I'll give you more than a kiss, and then it was left at that, so... And we'll leave it at that. We're gonna see them going upstairs here for the second defense. Normally the first site, but as we pointed out, AV8 likes to mess with their opponents a bit, go where they don't expect on their first site. Five seconds left. We're gonna see the mute being brought again. He's pretty handy, giving a lot of denial opportunities on these walls and denial of the drones as well. So, uh, uh, an underutilized uh, operator, I would say. Admiral bringing the Kate. So that's we saw that pretty useful on the side of Faded's defense. They saw the Kate came back into play. Yeah, I think he might even Kate trick to get one of the uh, thermite breaches. Um, I know that a bandit got it once, but I thought there was something with the. Uh, well, either way, we're talking about Cade. They find the kill for themselves. Admiral getting a kill on a KJ to open up the round. Caster's curse is confusing, I'm not gonna lie. Right. See, either you talk about the person and they die or they get a kill. Well, they saw someone run by and run by again, and they're not punished. It's, it's hard to pre fire someone running by so fast, and I think it was the Ash, so three speed. Hard to catch. You see a nice little angle down below on Garage as someone was trying to peek up at them. Temp gonna leave that position, probably for the best, as that could have been caught out in a pre fire. Blue holding a I tight angle. Out yeah. I'm Thatcher. Get clear. No. Not bring it that this time. That's an interesting decision, I'll say that. Uh, you have an easy opportunity to open up the wall and you forego it, you're gonna have to figure something else out here and. Well, so far, nothing. Blue having a huge opportunity is... I don't think they're aware that he's playing over here on the other side of things. And he gets a kill onto Burberry. He's going to find a second one. Nice shot onto KWD. That's a double kill. Now you're in a 5v3. Come out for Aviate and Faded. Well, they get a refrag onto Admiral, at least. But still not looking good as they're in a 4v3. Reflex is their one guy staying positive. Mystic's trapped over near Blue, and Reflex is the only one doing work coming in upstairs on Garage, but only a minute to play with 2v4, and Temp gets a kill on the Reflex, so it's all on Mystic's shoulder. I don't think he's going to be able to do it, no offense. And maybe find a person below if they don't miss the shot, and they do hit Rich taking out 1v3. And Blue getting a nice shot. It's the headshot. Finishing off the round. They have a triple kill on the round for themselves, and AV8 up t two rounds, 5-3. It's two in a row. Not as shaky of a defense from the looks of it as what we saw from Faded. So, AV8, this is their map pick, and, well, they're showing that it's a reason that they chose it. The 
same lineup from uh, Faded, Aviate going gym bedroom, make, mixing it up a bit with the castle. Well, we actually moving do see it. to the mute. We do see the Thatcher brought, so not exactly the same uh, lineup. Yeah. And they're going to the see a six pick off of the Maestro. Interesting. And they're going to go with the Vigil. Vigil. Okay. Interesting. Well, I think Temps, well, Attackers they felt pretty good on a Fragger roll being the Wamai last time. I think they're, they're feeling it again. And, uh, playing that Roamer. Well, Cade being brought as pretty usual. I think we've seen him on every single site being brought, and it makes sense. We're gonna deny that wall over by Jim onto the balcony. And it makes sense because that's a pretty standard push. They're gonna have an extended hold over here in construction and cash. And well, I can't really pick apart anything. This is pretty standard for the tertiary site. It's faded, or fatality, excuse me. <laughs> that, I, that always is going to get me once every match for these two teams. Anyways, fatality going to be on that castle, though, so that's important to note. They're the one who plays a lot of those uh, flex slash support role, and he's going to continue to do that. Admiral continuing to use the cave. They've been doing pretty well for themselves. Got a couple kills on them, and really using the utility wisely. Temp on that roam on the vigil. Blue on the mute instead. That's a different role than what we've seen from them. But just showing the flexibility. Rich trying to get a kill out there onto the window balcony area, but nothing being found as of yet. And no one's really playing office, it's important to know. So if these attackers push office, they might be able to get something done here. Kjax out here on the balcony. They know people are playing over here in CC and cash. So. And he's almost... He just misses a, a wide open rotate in front of him. Kjax! Kjax, you can't, what are you doing? You just can't let that happen. Well, they're getting the wall open at least on the other side of things for his team. So, not all hopes lost. But, certainly going to hope for better. He does catch the Jaeger there, and the Jaeger's gonna get caught out. Nice. He makes up for that blunder earlier and gets the kill. And that's the opening frag. About half the round remaining. Um, that's interesting. Gonna take some damage jumping in, but they do get an entry, so that's important to note. He's gonna look around, make sure he's not missing anything as he slowly crawls his way possibly inside. There's the Cade charge. He has to finish cleaning up so his teammates can help with that. They might be able to get a plant off here. There's nothing really denying it, so they're going to want to be smart here. They're going to be really smart here and try and get the plant. Burberry over there in the office, as I was saying, no one was covering it. Temp getting a kill on the KJX, but Burberry is going to get the kill from the office position I talked about. And he's going to continue to try and hold out as they have the plant down, and it's going to be a post-plant situation for these defenders. Nice kill from Burberry and Reflex, and Reflex gets the second one, finishing off Fatality. That's... A really good round from Faded. They win their first attack. If you start off with two round wins, but uh, Faded keeping it close with another one. As five to four is the score right now. Keeping it close. This is actually the same exact score line we had in round 10, I think. Yep, yep. On You're coastline right. as well. Mm -hmm. They're up 5 1 and then they drop through in a room. So this is a bit of a different situation. But uh, certainly a close game. No one getting three rounds in a row. It's the best was what we just saw, which was two in a row. And then now Faded has stopped that streak. So, But keep in mind that was the third site. So it's still advantage in Aviate's favor, I'd say, as they get to go back downstairs. And after this, if they win, they'll go back upstairs. And, well, they've won both of those sites once already. Blue having a really good game still. They were seven and four at one point. Now they're eleven and five. So that shows you four deaths for one, four kills for one death. That's pretty, pretty dang good. 
Definitely is. I wish I could get that. <laughs> right. A score line I'm sure everyone's envious of in their ranked games. Reflex, though. Gotta mention them. 12 and 6 on the ace over there for Faded. He's really keeping Faded in this one, that's for sure. Help to see a little bit more from Burberry as they are still playing those fragging rolls, but not quite able to get up there with the, the rest of them. And, well... Mystic and KWD, I think that last time they're they're pretty much in the same position they are here. I think they're really the support players on their team. You don't really expect them to get a lot of kills. Yeah, I mean, KWD. Well, we're talking about Baloo and how much of a game he's been having. Well, no more. He gets taken out. I was talking about Reflex. He's the one that took down Baloo, so. The two top fraggers for the respective teams. And, well, Reflex comes out on top. They had a duel. Which is important to note because that kill allowed him to have the same number of deaths, but increased the lead in the kill count for Reflex. So he's probably feeling pretty good about that. Trying to make some holes in the floor. Yeah, you hope someone else can come up with a breaching charge or something, though. You don't want to waste all your bullets trying to make holes in the floor. Someone in blue, though. That's going to be Rich, and he's going to get taken down. Mystic getting the kill there. As he's working in tandem with... KWD gets the kill for themselves though. No refrag necessary. The Thatcher, though. It did take a lot of damage. He's gonna use the Thatcher to try and allow them to open up these uh, hatches here. Hatches. Admiral on the K trying to deny that push down the main stairs, but things are being opened up and he's gonna get caught by the prone player. Cheeky little position by Burberry, but he managed to get the kill for it. And drone's getting shot at. They know someone's over there behind the wall in blue. That's your sledge taken out. Fatality getting the kill on the KJX there. From a nice cheeky position in the back of armory. Mystic getting killed in the temp though. And refrag by Fatality. And he's the only one really doing work and continuing to do so. He gets another. That's a 3k for him. He's the only kills for his team in this round. He's going to have to get the ace to clutch it out. Plant coming down. He's going to get caught from the left. And he is. He doesn't see them behind the table and chairs there. And Burberry going to finish the round for his team and bring it to an even round count. 5-5 five, five all. Kept the close, but... Nice shot from him. Unfortunate for Fatality. Just could not see the guy over there just left. If he got that kill, it was really all in his favor at that point. But he wasn't able to do it. And Faded going to manage to get two in a row for themselves on attack. And once again, we're back at 5-5. Five, five. And we're going upstairs now. CC instead. They lost downstairs twice. So they're going to have to go upstairs instead. Try and... Yeah. That was sick around there. Uh, wait. No, oh, no, no, no. Sorry. They gym. lost gym and then they lost downstairs. My bad. My bad. Well, either way... They're... The team's switching up their strat a bit. I feel like Fade has been playing a lot more aggressive these past two rounds than earlier. Yeah, it looks like it. And... I'm not sure give... that's been catching AB off, off guard. Kjx like on that capital is pretty important yeah. too. If we walk back like the Leviathan's game, you see how much more aggressive Leviathan's were and how AB just wasn't able to like defend against it. And I feel like uh, Faded's realizing it right now as well. Yeah, they might be trying to capitalize on uh, what they've seen as they did see Leviathan's beat AB. So maybe there's something they were able to take away from that VOD. I wouldn't call it just about them. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, definitely. I would say the VODs are more important for the team that's lost more, which is Faded, so I would say that'd be the biggest advantage for them, even if Faded has, you know, themselves lost and such. Overall, the VOD's probably most important to the team that is the underdog. It's important to both teams either way. Well, we'll see if who has learned the most is they're going to be tied here in rounds and whoever can seem to get the momentum here. They'd have to get two in a row to win the map. Otherwise, we'll see overtime. Gotta love overtime. Admiral continuing to play on that cade. That's been their hallmark choice. As they haven't really deviated from that decision. Temp back on the one by. We saw him do work up here before. See if he's able to do that again. Oh, 
a lot of angles being held and no one being over. Oh, never mind. I was about to say no one being overly aggressive, but we see Tunk getting taken out as Burberry is just jumping in, getting a double kill. We did see a refrag, but ooh, Fatality getting the kill back onto him. So that's Burberry's streak ended quickly. We're back in an even man count. Nothing too crazy coming out yet. Rich is still alive on that Jaeger, it's important to note. He's not getting caught with that flash though, so he's going to be able to continue hit using his eyes. We do have Fatality here, and he has those cams he can use. He's going to continuously be checking them, waiting for them to be back online after being Thatchered. KWD on that Thatcher, trying to deny that information. That's Baloo hurting himself a little bit, but opening up from below so he can get the vertical play from downstairs. Tyler, though, Rich, whatever you want to call him, is getting a kill on the reflex, and that gives him the man count. And so there's only a minute remaining. That's Mystic, though, only going to take out Rich, as I was just talking about him, and they're back into an even man count. There was a jump in. Baloo on stairs, you're going to have to try and pinch with Fatality if they want to get the kill. They have to be wary of where the other attacker is, though. Less than a minute left here. And they're both off to that side. And the plan is going down. And he's very wary of the window, but he should know his teammates covering it as he is playing on the rotation. But they don't notice that someone's still playing on the defuse. The Claymore from KWD going to get the kill on the fatality as his body was covering it up. He does get the kill onto him, but he gets his revenge. So Claymore finishes the round and gives map points to Faded. And Aviate on the back foot now. They can't let one more round drop from them, or else this will be Faded's map pick. Oh, no, excuse me. Map win, and this is their map choice, Aviate's. So it'd be interesting, though, if Faded do take this, both teams winning the other team's choice. Definitely would be an interesting one to see. But will it happen? Gonna have to wait and see. Well, we've seen a lot of back and forth, but so far I believe that is three rounds in a row for Faded. So momentum certainly on their side is they come in with this map point in hand and they're going to try and finish it off here, I'm pretty sure. We'll see. I would be surprised to see some aggressive plays coming out. I wouldn't either. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Well, Fatality back on the uh, Maestro, he did a lot of work, but wasn't able to finish it, as he did get three kills, but no more, and, well, he was the only one when they were down here last time to get those kills, and everyone else died, so hopefully we'll see a little bit more out of his teammates here, as he's going to need some help getting an ace in a round is a very hard thing to do, so <laughs> can't expect that out of him. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure, that's for sure. Temp. Going to do a different pick than I think we've seen from him yet. I don't think we've seen the Mazi choice from him, at least. And Well, he's played a lot of different choices. He's been on Wamai, he's been on Vigil, he's been on some other things, too. I'm pretty positive. I just can't remember what they are. But whatever the case, he's a, he's the Swiss Army knife for his team, filling in what's needed. Hopefully he can help out on the, on the roam here. Blue not roaming as we've normally seen from him, and he's been pretty good on that roam, but he's gonna be more conservative. Stay in sight, try and help out. Might be better for them. Well, that means Temp's the only one roaming, so the attacker's gonna have pretty easy access above in blue, or not, excuse me, blue, but uh, in bar and in kitchen. They're gonna do their due diligence though, make sure that they drone out, make sure they're not gonna get caught from some aggressive roamer in a place that, well, they aren't looking. Well, half the hatch opened up with that ace. Let's see if the second one is allowed to go off and open it or not. Kjax working with Burberry here, they know that the Mozzie's up here, so they're gonna be working together. Trying to get him taken care of, and he is. Kjax, nice kill with the LMG of the ca uh, Capitel. And Temp taken out relatively early. Almost half the round killed, but that's still a man advantage for Faded. That's what they're hoping Definitely for here. Is. Burberry, though, going to get refragged by Rich. And the Jaeger starting to do a little bit more work here. Getting revenge for his friend Burberry taken out. That Zofia no longer on the board for them. 
Sounds like church walls getting opened up by the ace over there. Baloo getting a kill onto the ace. That's Reflex, the player we've seen really have a huge impact for his team, and he's no longer available. And that's Rich downed and taken out. Mystic on the Hibana there, getting the credit for that kill, and it's a 3v3 with a minute remaining. Keeping this match point quite close. See they someone. Everyone on the edge of their seats. Indeed, and he sees someone playing back in the bar, and he knows that he has to push him out with the fire arrow. He doesn't get the kill, but does a decent bit of damage to Baloo, but they manage to escape without getting taken care of and punished on the rotate. KWD bringing a drone down, so they're gonna realize they have 40 seconds to play with. Not a lot of time, but enough maybe to get some information quickly. They know Fatality is playing in the back of Armory. KJX not able to catch him either. These rotates are not being punished, and he's punished. At the bottom of the stairs, that's the fuser down. You're in a 2v3. This is for the map. KWD taking some damage above. And Nothing Mystic as well. And that's Fatality getting the kill on the KWD, and Baloo finishing it off. Mystic taken out. AV8. We're back to overtime. Bringing it to overtime. And this is their map pick. They get to choose what side on OT, and they are going to be on the defense. I guess that's a pretty safe pick. Well, we saw 3-3 three, three on both sides for each team, so you can't say one side has an advantage necessarily, so this that's is really, fair. this is pretty much resetting the 0-0 zero, zero hero, truly. Cause... Although this still is a defender side of map either way. I'm sure Aviate is hoping they can continue that momentum that they started off with in the beginning. Indeed, some conversation coming out about that fire, but either way, they got the win, and Blue wasn't punished out of the rotate there, so they're going to go downstairs yet again since it's overtime. They're allowed to repeat the site since sites reset for overtime, and, well, they just had success. You'd expect them to go here again and try and find it once more. Give them the advantage. Tep going to go on that Mazi again and be roaming around, and, well, last time... Wasn't so successful on it. I'm, I'm curious to see what he'll change up here. Rich here on the Jaeger. He's been just breaking even. Doing a pretty solid job. Last time we got a kill maybe two, actually. And, uh... Well, he's been playing over here in blue, lurking up above a little bit. So I'm not really... Surprised to see him back over here. I think we even see the Mozzie back up in the same position basically as last time, but he has caught up there, so he's got to be very careful and hopefully that doesn't have a repeat performance for him. And he's gonna opt to go somewhere else. Last time he's caught upstairs and almost gonna catch the reflex on that ace, but reflex gets the kill. That AK really good, but Tyler. Gonna kill on the Burberry, and Burberry getting taken up early for his team yet again. So both, this is like a repeat of last time, both the players who got killed last time in the beginning of the round, taken out yet again. But this time Reflex has a lot more damage done to him compared to the last time. Rich playing a very dangerous game but doesn't get punished on the rotate. He knows that the hatch is up in there and he's gonna be hiding in a cheeky little corner here and hoping that they don't find him out. He's able to take them out if they try and drop the hatch. You gotta love those cheeky little spots you get to sit in. Well, it allows a crossfire as well, as long as he stays there between Dirt and him. Fatality gonna be having to hold down Armory pretty much by his lonesome here, playing around that hatch. You know, someone's at the bottom of main, pre-fires, doesn't find anything for himself, does get the drone at least. Impact trick coming out, but doesn't seem to stop it. Blue playing the same position here in church on the back wall. Tries to get a kill, isn't able to find anything quite yet. But Admiral getting a nice headshot through the wall, killing KJX. But he's quickly refragged by Reflex on the ace. Blue is going to be holding the angle onto that doorway. He's going to have to be careful of that hole made into the wall next to him, though. 
KWD pushing in, getting caught on the Malusi and caught by Baloo with a nice headshot onto him. That's Reflex getting killed by Fatality. He only had a little bit of health. That Maestro Cam takes him out. And Rich on the Jaeger gets the drop. And AVA back in the lead. And they get that sight two times in a row, giving them a one round count lead. They're now on their map point. And we'll see if they can finish it off and do what Faded was not able to do. Finish what Faded started. Well, switching sides then, since it's overtime, they're going to go back and forth. And, well, Faded hoping to do what they just saw, going in basement themselves and hoping to get a win down there. That way, it all comes down to that last round. And Well, we saw that on Aviate's side, they had some success upstairs, but I feel like defense was certainly better downstairs for them, as we just saw two rounds in a row in the same site. So if they can win down here, they still have a pretty decent chance because they'll, they'll be able to attack upstairs instead. Attackers need to locate and defuse Either way, it's going to be a close one, that's for sure. Well, it's close right now. 7-6. It'll be even closer then. <laughs> It'll be back to even and all the marbles will be up for sale. Both seasons on the line. <laughs> all on one round. Actually, no. For Faded, it's all on one round. AV still have a second chance. I was about to say, yeah, this is really on Faded's back right now. They're going to have to overcome some obstacles. Have some resilience. They want to bring this to map three. If we go to map three, it's going to be a long night. Considering <laughs> how everyone's playing right now. Being so close. Indeed. Burberry going to be roaming this time uh, on the Giger. Not so surprising, but we've seen him kind of lurk a lot, and he's been switching around his role even. Mostly on the Jaeger, but still playing some other things too. We see Mystic being on that Malusi. Kjax has been consistently on this support role of the smoke. Reflex, while well, he's doing a lot of work with the AK, with the Reflex Ace. Is doing his thing. And we're gonna see if we can continue that with the Elda. Both very good weapons, so. Oh, Reflex trying to get, trying to do what Temp did. Temp did. I almost said Temp dig. Well, bullet hole, but he messes it up. He's tempted to do what Temp did. Oh my god, now you're messing with my brain. <laughs> Making those word, or excuse me, tongue twisters. Word twisters, I don't know. It's all the same tongue thing. Tongue twisters to also kind of feels like a tongue twister. Doesn't it? Just the word itself. Well, he's caught out on the drone here, Bur where he is, and well, oh. he's gonna stay in that corner. I would not recommend. We'll see if he's able to get a kill for himself. He's gonna get caught out, and there is someone engaging with him on the other side of things. He gets the kill, though. Rich taken out, and that's in faded um, side of things. Advantage. That's the word I was favor. looking for. Favor. Another word. Faded's favor. Ooh. I don't know what that's called when it has the same beginning. F-A, like that. There's a word for it. Temp doing a lot of damage, but taking some as well. Reflex taken out. And, and he's down to a sliver of HP. <laughs> but worth it, though, taking out the top right, as you mentioned. C4 coming up, but not finding anyone from KWD on that Cade roll. Mystic gonna be watching the front door. There's someone watching Burberry here, and he's gonna get caught out and killed. That's a nice shot coming out from the Ash of Blue. And now we're in a 3v4. Faded. We're gonna have to kill 45 more seconds here if they want to win this round. Mystic over here in Dirt Tunnel. Not sure if anyone's pushing over there, so he probably shouldn't be focused too much over there, or else he's gonna leave his teammates down one person. KWD taking a lot of damage over in blue. And missing the shots. Kjax getting a kill on the temp, though. Taking a lot of damage, though. That's not good. That's your smoke taken out behind. And Admiral getting a kill. And Kjax. And it's over. I just. AVH that's going it. To the finals. <laughs> I, I just. It just fell apart so fast. I didn't know how yeah, to react. We didn't even realize then, did Another 8 to 6 victory for Aviate as they go back for a rematch against Leviathans, the team that knocked them to the loser's bracket in the first place.
I just can't believe it fell apart like that. It just they look like they are actually doing pretty well, and then all of a sudden, boom, all three of them die. I think this is the best faded versus aviate match we've had. I mean, given that the other two have gone to three maps each time, even though this was to two maps, it was eight to six overtime both times. I mean, that's keeping it quite close. Yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting. Overtime in both maps, so certainly not something you can scoff at. You can't say that, you know, Faded played badly or anything like that. They certainly showed right. up, but Aviate just edged them out, and, well, overtime's really a, to to a coin toss. Can't even speak right Aviate now. thrived in overtime, it seems. Yeah, and they took both of them, so good for them, though. And we'll see if we can have an interview here in just a, just a few moments. So I'll just put us on a short break here as we get someone in for an interview. Give me a second. Welcome back for a short break, but we have Temp here for the interview. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty great, honestly. Um, 2-0, E. 2-0, for sure, but very close game, so let's let's get into it a little bit. So how, how is the first round, or the first map feeling? It's not your map pick. Nope. You're up 5-1. Um, yep. And then on the other side of things, they go 5-1. So t walk us through yep. how that all broke down step by step. Um, we were struggling a little bit on, uh, not, uh, not roam clear, but just general pushes. Uh, we were a little bit too spread out and it was kind of hurting. Uh, I, we could get, um, what's it? No, no, that's on defense. We failed on defense. I'm stupid. Um, so on defense, more or less, uh, the issue was we were losing bodies in weird places. So, you know, we, we'd be upstairs and we'd lose two roamers, then it'd be a 3v5, or we'd be upstairs in hookah and we'd lose our uh, guy in... Uh, we lose our guy in theater, and then it would just be a weird situation to push back on. We could always like hold the uh, hold the anchor. It was just the difficulty was there's so many people on that map. Right, such a small map, a lot of variation of where they're going to be, and they can you know get from one side of the map to the other very quickly. So it's mm -hmm. hard to keep track of them all. So with that in mind, you still went five one, and they went five one. So it gets to overtime, and well, it's not your map choice, so they get to go on attack. But you guys still win that first round of defense in overtime. How did that feel? What was the plan going into it? Did you make certain changes that you thought would give you that success that you found? Or what was the, what was um, the, the steps there? The one change we made was uh, the, two the two defensive rounds we won was in Blue Bar um, and Sunrise. And the entire time, I think that was just the best site for us because it's really, really awkward to push. Since you either have to take security side or you just have to take sauna side, and there's really no way to clear it that way. I think they tried a cool vibes kind of a take, but we were still able to hold the anchor, and that's kind of what ke uh, kept us alive. We lost the roamers, but we were able to able to ke uh, keep sight, and then I bullet hold a lot of people, which was really funny. 
Yeah, <laughs> we saw we saw some some things in chat about that. I'll say that Everybody for sure. was quite happy with it. I mean, I never got my kiss, so I'm kind of upset. Um, I'll have to DM him for that later. All right, I was gonna say, you know, that that's something that's owed, so can't exactly. ba can't back out. Mm -hmm. So then you go to the second map. You have a map win. It wasn't your map choice, so it probably feels pretty good, I imagine. Mm -hmm. And then you find yourselves on the attack. Uh, no, you're on defense in that one. Wait, no, yep. what were you? Uh, we were attacking. Sorry. You were attacking, excuse me, sorry. So then you get a 3-3 <laughs> split, though. Yep. So I just have to ask first, before we get into the, the splits being even and all that, in the very beginning, though, Thatcher isn't banned. Mm -hmm. Is that something you wanted? Did you think that that would happen? Or did you see it was available after they banned the Montane and you just let it go through? Or what? Oh, or good. Oh, no, I was just gonna say, was it planned or not? I guess. Um, not really planned. I just really, really hate Maverick on that map, especially <laughs> when you have to do with like CC Wall. He's just a bitch. He can get all of the hatches. He can get the CC uh, CC Wall. He can get um, he can get Garage Wall. Basically, do anything. Plus the added benefit of you know poking holes, and it basically makes Kaid irrelevant. Okay. And bandit more or less. And so we thought that dealing with him would be, or dealing with a Thatcher would be a lot easier than dealing with a uh, a Mav. Okay, I can kind of see that. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. So then you get you get even split. Is that something you feel good about, or is that expected with the Thatcher being available? On attack on Clubhouse, we could have made that four two, but we choked a three v five, and that was just you know we got excited and we made four mistakes. But other than that, the three three split isn't bad. It's just that um, Clubhouse is a very momentum-based map, in my in my opinion. And so if you lose bodies early, you're going to lose the round. If you uh, take bodies early, you're obviously going to win. And so the goal of that map is to just carry the most momentum behind you, or at least for our team. And the 3-3 split wasn't optimal, but I think it was a good scenario. Because on, on attack, that's always good, especially with defender-sided maps, which are the majority, really. That's interesting you mentioned momentum. So in the first match, you guys... Um... You're up 5-1, and then they went three in a row, right? But it, yep. I wouldn't necessarily say it really mattered in the long run because it ends up being 5-1 splits either way, and then overtime comes, you guys get the one on defense, which is, you know, the shocker because it's really attacker-sided. But then in that second map, it was there was never a run like that. Like, the most in a row, which was you guys who got it first, you had two in a row, you won a 5-3, and then they won two in a row. And so no one was really ever fully able to grasp that momentum. It seemed like it was kind of back and forth the whole way through. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you feel was just because of how close the competition was? Or how did you feel about it? Do you feel like you guys made so many mistakes? Or what is, uh, uh, what's the reflection on that? I think that came down to gunfights in awkward areas. Um, so a lot of the times when you're pushing like CC rafters, um, the Kaid up there played very, very well. And I really, really hate him. <laughs> but it was, you know, can you get that kill on Kaid versus, you know, or can you take a cash or can you get the one on rafters? It's those, it's that one gun gunfight in the map that takes that momentum. And so that's kind of why it's hard because you can't consistently win that fight on rafters and you can't consistently win that fight on maybe downstairs on blue and stuff mm. like that. And so the ability to, you know, win that gunfight in particular was most of the time when the momentum shifted. Uh, so yeah, that's about really about it which is why it was really really hard to do well it's a really really good match danny i'm gonna let you have i have a question but i'll let you you ask now because i know you can i sit don't there. have any questions at the moment oh okay well then i'll ask it goes to overtime <laughs> you guys win in overtime yeah. both maps and i think it was eight six both times if i remember correctly yeah. so is that something that is a statement for you is that something you expect i mean i know most teams expect to win but you know overtime is always kind of a coin toss in a way so yeah. is, how do you feel about that um so far as a record as a team we've never lost a map three when we've gone to it and that's pretty pretty great i think us as a team deal with a lot of pressure better and when they were dealing with overtime you know obviously the entire rounds uh kind of hinging on that side and i think we took three maps in a row because it was five to six we were losing and then we took the three next rounds um on a, a defense attack defense oh yeah okay okay fair enough um, yes it did yeah and so I think the ability as a team to deal with that kind of pressure, we were all obviously still pretty tired. We were all a little bit worn out. But at the same time, I think it was just a pressure thing. Can you perform? Okay. And you feel like you can. Yes. So how does the pressure feel now that you're going to go into a best of five in the grand finals against the Leviathans mm -hmm. and you're down a map 
because of the bracket system, of course. So they, yeah. they beat you guys uh, up top, and then you guys mm-hmm. went down, and now you're going to have the rematch. So tell us a bit about the pressure for one, and then how you feel about the rematch. Okay. Uh, the rematch is going to be really, really interesting because it's entirely on our ability to make plays. Because I we went 5-8 or 5-7 on Oregon, and we played that pretty... We still played that poorly. Um, we're, I'm not even going to mention Theme Park because this is a team of wiped that as a memory. Never happened, right? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> what happened? On Oregon, which was our, our probably our prime performance, we made a lot of mistakes and ended us costing rounds. So I still think we can take it from Leviathan, but it's going to be an interesting game. Okay. So uh, what I gathered was you're going to ban Theme Park. Yes, banning Theme Park. Um, no Theme Park. We Yeah. All right. So just don't do Theme Park anymore. <laughs> me and my homies hate theme park. <laughs> okay, so at least we have something to look forward to uh, with that match. We know, we know a little bit of insider information, everyone, so we can be happy about that. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but looking forward, what maps do you expect to play? Because you only get one band each. Is there a map that you're looking forward to playing Leviathans on? Is there one uh, that you feel like, oh, this is the map like for us? We want to run it back on Oregon. You do? That's okay. Yeah, we want to run that back on Oregon. Um, and then it really depends because it's going to come down to picking one of the fragger heavy maps like Consulate and uh, Coastline, which we're probably going to end up on there, which could be dangerous. But at the same time, I think we're still going to be okay just as long as we can make plays. Um, Oregon and Club is probably still going to be our best ones. And if you want to bring it to Cafe, I, you haven't seen us versus them on Cafe, and I think that's one of our better maps as a team. So that could be a potential interesting map to say the least yep okay oh, cool. it all. so looking forward you guys are going to face this grand final here and i'm not trying to downplay that because it's going to be awesome right but then next season you're going to be in the premier league i believe yep. and then moving forward in general like what is the game plan for you guys what's your aspirations what's your organization all about give us a little information on that um us as a team we just try to get uh, pick up as many uh, leagues as possible I know that um, we, we were trying to get into other leagues, but all kinds of dates have been conflicting, especially with WNBL. So we prioritize WNBL for now, and then we're going to move to a lot of other different leagues. I think we were interested in PCL and a couple of other ones. I think, and we've even been spotted on Twitter trying to get in certain leagues. But right now, we're just going to try to play matches as much as possible, end up on stream, end up on grand finals, do what we can. Well, that's awesome. I respect that a lot. Mm. Okay, well, that's all the questions I have. Danny, I'm going to let you have one more shot here in case you had something come up that you were itching to ask. I just have one question. So you were talking about how you guys already on the second map were getting tired out. Now that you're going into a grand finals where you could be playing up to a total of four maps, how do you think the stamina is going to affect you? Um, uh, Red Bull, if you want to sponsor us, that would be amazing. I would love you. Um, just saying. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Uh, it all has to do with the mood thing. The stamina was just low because we just went into double overtime, and we, it was all getting a little bit frustrating because both of us play like rats. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to them. Um, and then overall, I think we can deal with the stamina if we just can scrim more and just play as a team more. More team rank do basically everything. After, <laughs> I think one of the reasons we struggled in the Leviathans game so much is because that was the day the next season came out. Oh, yeah. And we had all been playing oh, yeah. basically all day. We were all just kind of dead inside for a lot of reasons. Well, hopefully this time yeah. you show up with a little more energy. You come you come in, you know, maybe you get a first map win. Who knows, you know, make it interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in the meantime, until then, you guys just won now. So I want to say congratulations. Hopefully you, you soak that in and be like, okay, at least we're getting to the grand finals. You have to yeah. celebrate. T- celebrate, exactly. No, we take a W. <laughs> Take the W. All right. Well, you won today, at least. So there's that. Um, In the meantime, I don't have anything else to ask. So I guess we'll just call it here. Is there anything else you'd like to say to anyone watching? Any? uh, Do you want any message to Leviathans before you face them? Anything to say to Fade? Reflex. Leviathan. It'll be an interesting match. I don't want to shit talk them because they're probably going to get angry at me. Normally, I'm up for it, but at the same time, eh, I'm good. Faded, however. (laughs) I'm in shields. You bitch. I want to play shields and they double banned it. That's about it. All right. Um, other than that, I'm looking forward to the Leviathan match. It's going to be a good game. Well, we look forward to casting it for you. We look forward to, to enjoying it with the viewers. Cause I'm sure there'll be watchers who are looking forward to that too. It should be a good matchup. And, uh, I'll just give credit, you know, 
Uh, kudos to Cosmic for setting up this league. I think it's been pretty good so far. Looking forward to the next season. Kudos to your coach, Big Bear there, I believe, if that's the coach or... Or if the, okay, yeah, yeah. So he's awesome, and uh, he, he clearly preparation came into play. You guys were able to win two times in overtime today. So kudos to him, the organization, uh, and your team especially. So good job. And thank you, viewers, for coming in and supporting the stream. We hope to see you in the grand finals here soon, and we'll see you next time. Have a good night. All right. Later.